Hi guys, come on in. Hi Candace. Hey Tammy. Hi Dawn. Hey Laura. Hey Crystal. Hey Anna. Hey Chris. Hi, Meg. I almost just showed you guys some new stuff. I don't have any information on KSS. As soon as I hear, I will let you guys know. Hi, Emily. I know it's been freezing rain here. So yuck, 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 yuck out. Yeah. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Venus. Hi, Therese. Hi, Lisa. Susan. Stacy H. You guys are all coming in here. I love my new car. Yes, I do love my new car. In fact, um, I was just saying, I just got new, uh, the new floor mats finally came in and, uh, they're heavy duty rubber floor mats. So that, that makes it better. But I was like, I wish I could go to the car wash and clean my car and I can't cause we've had such miserable weather. So yeah. I do love it. I do have the Misty Sticky Grid sheet. So if you guys were on my live the other night, I had to take it down because, um, the GoFundMe I set up for my friend, they are doing an investigation. So, um, he asked me to take it down, but there were a handful of people that donated because you guys are awesome. So he is, uh, he has to cancel the GoFundMe, um, with them and then they'll issue a refund. So you should see your refund. I'm going to assume like normal businesses probably within, 10 working days or something like that. So thank you for you guys that did donate. That's why I had to take my live down um, because I have to basically go through and edit all of that out. And I didn't feel like doing all of that. So yeah, hi Susie, hi Carol, hey Cynthia. Hey Elda, Terry, Penny, Rhonda. Yeah, Glor Gloria, I ordered the new ocean set. Did you order it? It's so pretty. I think I asked you the other day. Okay, so I did get some happy mail here that I want to show you guys. All right, so if you missed my friend Tracy's, did a live the other day. She did two lives, and one was the unboxing of the new Technique Junkies stamps, and one was... A colorful life design stencils go check out Tracy's videos on them but she only did that on Tuesday night and look how fast the shipping is you guys I got the stamps that I ordered right away so this one is called burst it is a background stamp this one is so funny I think being your sister is enough of a birthday gift happy birthday and I had to get that um, you know because someday I'll make cards for my sisters and then I really, really like this one. Happy birthday to you. If you can read all of this, maybe there's still some hope left for you. <laughs> and then this one says, people our age are so much older than we are. And Tracy has a link with a discount code. So make sure if you're going to order any of these stamps, um, the discount code doesn't work on the new release, but it works on any of the other stamps. Make sure you put in there... Um, Tracy sent me, okay? Like, put in your comments and your notes. Anytime you order from Technique Junkies, Tracy sent me so that she gets credit for that. She doesn't like to tell the world that, but I'm telling you guys, put a little note in there that Tracy sent me. So these are all new Technique Junkies stamps. There was a whole bunch. Check out her videos. She did a lot of uh, cool cards with them. And we always need birthday cards, right? I got this big, beautiful card. Oh my God, the intricacy in, is from Dawn. You guys, I am like blown away because I don't have the time. I shouldn't say that I don't have the time. I don't have the patience for all of this cutting and layering and it's on foiled card. I mean, there's how many layers is here? 
one, two, three, at least three layers on this. And then you have four layers back here, five, six, and then you have the sentiment. So this is like seven layers on this. Yes, amazing. Yep, and then she sent me this embossed, beautiful, like, pattern paper. So, yes, got that. Thank you very much. Um, and we are going to open a box I just got from Crafty Critter, but I wanted to open these sticky mats. So, basically, what I showed you guys the other night when I took my live down was, um, if you don't want to purchase or you want to see what you have around the house, was options for sticky mat. And I know that a lot of people use like Cricut mats. You cut these down and put them in there. Um, there was a company called Little Bee Positioners. Um, but I cut down a piece of this Cook's Essential, which I think you can get from QVC. And um, this Cook's Essentials, like nonstick, and it, this is silver and gold. I cut this down. And I put it inside my mini Misty and my large uh, Misty. And it's not sticky. Um, it's not sticky, but it's non-slip, non I should say. So um, I've been trying that. So there's a couple different options, but I really wanted to see what, what the options were for these. Now, these are in Catherine Puller's site. And I will link my Catherine Puller link for you guys if you want to go get them. They were... Well, I want to say $12.99 and you get three of them. And my question was, are they double-sided? What is the difference between these and using like a sticky grid or something? So the point of having these is so they go inside your Misty. And here's a little piece of sticky grid here. Here I put some of that little silicone non-stick stuff. But the point of having these is sometimes you can't always use your magnet because if you're using like a large background stamp, like where's that stamp at? Like if you're using a stamp like this and it's on your piece of cardstock, you know, how are you how are you going to put a magnet underneath there if you're trying to stamp that whole piece of paper? So that's why I got these. Now, the big difference with the three of these is the size of the grid line. So let me get a piece of paper so you guys can see it better. Okay, so you get three in the pack. They're pretty heavy duty plastic. So I would say these are easy to wipe. Um, but it looks like the size of the grid line. So this has much finer grid lines. If you are really into measuring, I don't really measure my cards or when I'm stamping. Um, this is a more medium size blocks for your grid lines. I think this matches the etching. And I have a really old original Misty. I have not um, sprung to... Yeah, so this is more the lines of the original Misty. And then the this one is kind of like bigger bigger line. So my question is, is this sticky? So let's, I'm going to open that original one. And like I said, you get all three for $12.99 and I do have a Catherine Puller link. I'll get that up for you guys. So, okay, there is a protective layer on this side. So it is tacky and I don't think there's a protective layer on the other side. So it is only on one side, it feels like. Let me check all of them. I was hoping it was double-sided because I would like one side to hold on to the Misty and one side to hold on to my paper. Primarily, you need it to hold on to your paper. But if it's double-sided, yeah, these are all only sticky on one side, so just on the top. So depending on if you use, um, so you just slide it in there and then you pull the stick off. You might want to keep that protective plastic. Oh, did you see that move a little bit? See, I don't like that. There's a little bit of wiggle in there. Just a little. Let me... 
And I did buy these. These were not sent to me as a promotional item. I did spend my money on them. Um, I just want to see if all of these have that little shimmy shim. Yeah, there's a little wiggle in them. Okay, so that means you still have to use a magnet. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Mm. I don't, if I'm going to use tape, so like my, my Misty Pad, that moves a little bit too. But if I'm going to use this, like I don't want this to move. I don't want this to move because if this moves, if my stamp lifts this up, then I have to keep tucking this down into the corner. That's why I was kind of hoping it was double-sided so that it would stick and stick. I mean, I can stick it to that, I guess. You can use your uh, sticky grid to hold it in place, I guess. Well, let's just stamp this out. You're going to have to put magnets on this to hold it still or put tape on it, which I didn't want to do. I was hoping it was double-sided. I didn't really watch any videos on it. I just bought it, which is why I'm giving you guys a video. So since it just does what normal sticky grid does, I mean, ooh, let's see how sticky it is too. This is, I think this is Nina Solar White. What if it rips my paper? Oh. I'm going to stamp my new stamp. And then I'm going to use my new heat embossing powder so you guys can see. So I'm making sure it's in the bottom right corner. I'm tucking it in there. I took the foam pad out because we don't want um, that when we're using a rubber stamp. I got a big box in my way. I'll use some Versamark here. There's a little dust on my stamp. Oh, I have to do the anti-static thing. Hello, Leo. What do you want, Leo? Leo's sad because Leo went Leo went to the neighbors, so it's just me and Leo hanging out. Ah, I see my team has shown up. Look at that. Hi, Chow. Thank you. Tracy, can you link your Technique Junkies link and your um, Colorful Life Designs link with your discount codes? Because I showed those in the very beginning. Don, I just showed your card. Did you see that? I sure did, Don. And I'm going to use this new Dress Blues embossing powder from Catherine Puller. So I'm inking up this new, well, it's not new. It's new to me, but it's in the Technique Junkies shop. And I'm going to use my, my little Chucky. Oh, no problem. Chow's on it. Chow is on it. Did I have that ink the whole way? I'm going to ink it again. So this is where you have to make sure your card base stays in its place, in its corner there. Okay. And then you have to. <laughs> okay, I'm not complaining, but this is more trouble than it's worth for me. <laughs> Because I can't put the embossing powder on here because it'll stick to everything. So I have no choice but to remove it. <laughs> and it was pretty sticky. I mean, it didn't rip my paper, which is good. I'm sure it'll lose some of that stick once it's it's been used a few times. But I was just thinking... Well, my sticky grid only covers a small area, so I don't have that issue. That's all I was thinking to myself. Oh, this is really pretty, you guys. It's kind of a dark blue teal glitter. Ooh, 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 I really like this. It goes perfect with that stamp. And we're not going to waste any 
bit of this. We're going to put it all back in here. There we go. Aw, thank you, Graham Graham. Okay, let me, am I plugged in here? Okay, these lines are super fine, so it was hard for me to see if they were heat embossed. Let me turn my light on here. Oh, that is cool. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Star Wars, you guys. Speaking of, I got to go watch the new uh, Boba Fett episode. I missed it. That is really cool. It is a teal... A little bit of silver. Might be some gold in there. It's a it's a it's definitely a dark navy embossing powder, but the glitter, there's like three different colors of glitter in there. So and they're super fine. So they have this really cool, yeah, warp speed glory. Exactly. There we go. Can you guys see that? Is the camera picking that up for you? It's very pretty. Okay, so that's called Dress Blues from Catherine Pooler Embossing Powder, if you are interested in that. The stamp is from Technique Junkies, and you can use Tracy's discount code to get that. I'm going to reserve judgment on this. I think I need to use it a few times. It is definitely stuck in there, though. Um, so I'm going to leave it in here. We'll try it out a few times. I'm going to cut one of the other ones down. So it fits very snugly in my uh, mini. Because I use the mini more than I use this guy, right? So, um, and then I'm going to put one in my, my Tim Holtz. So that one we'll leave like that. The blasphemy, right? How dare I take a misty mat and put it in a Tim Holtz platform. Whoo! That's like an abomination. <laughs> you know me guys, breaking the rules all the time. Okay, so here you can see my little piece of sticky grid in here. I'm going to take the top off and then I'm going to take I guess this guy. And I'm going to put I'm just going to set him in there. I'm going to leave the cover on, but at least it'll be in there so that it's ready. There is something. Okay, that out of there. I love you, Leo, but your dog hair is everywhere. What the heck? Okay. All right, so we got one in there, and then we'll just save this. See, we'll cover it up so you won't know until I do a video. And then stand back and <laughs> Stacy, here's how I look at it. You spent the money on it. You're not the manufacturer uh, or the retailer. You use it any way you want, right? Like I said, 
If these had been sent to me as a promotional item, I'd probably have to be more careful about what I say and what I do. But I think you guys know me by now that I'm going to buy it, I'm going to try it, and I'm going to be honest with you. And there's really not much anybody can say or do about it. Right? So I spent... I thought it was a good value for $12.99 to get three of them. And immediately in my head, I was like, well, I got three platforms I'm using. I can um, cut them up. I could even probably put this in Stampin' Up, but Stampin' Up wouldn't like that. And I am a Stampin' Up demonstrator. So I don't really want to irritate them. So let's cut this down again. So this this little mouse pad fits in here like perfectly. So what are you guys dinging me? What are you saying? Trying to, trying to read comments and do do this at the same time. I'm buffering. I think you can wipe these down. You, it does feel like it does feel like the same kind of adhesive that they put on the um, Cricut mats. It does feel the same as this. Um, so yeah, it does. It's like that repositional, reusable. It's the same kind of tack. Okay, not buffering. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to, I'm going to draw a line and cut this one so I can cut it with scissors. So I would say, I think I gave you guys a couple of options with using, I know a lot of people, Dollar Store, I guess, sells those kind of Cricut mats. Amazon has some Cricut mat type of things. Um... I really like that Cook's Essential idea, which came to us from T because T has been using them. And she sent this, um, these little sample squares and we've been using those under our ink blocks. You guys have seen us use those and those, that works wonderful. And it's gonna do two things. It's gonna stick um, your paper, but it's also going to stick to the Misty. And that's what I liked was it, I had double adhesive on it. So it held my paper in place and also held my I missed my line over here. It held my paper in place, but also it held my, um, held everything to the misty. So I don't like when it wiggles and jiggles and all that stuff. I mean, I do enough wiggling and jiggling. I don't need my craft supplies doing that. All right, so now we're gonna use these hefty Tim Holtz scissors. And I'm sure she will come out with smaller mats, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna cut this down. And it's just like, you know, fussy cutting uh, your stamps. Some people don't like to cut their stamps apart. I think you get a little bit more creativity out of your stamps if you cut them apart. And this is one of those things, you know, I know that there's three of them and you think, well, I have three in case one gets dirty or dingy and you need to replace it. Well, I got three so I can put them in different things. So I have my little piece of sticky grid here. This is still slightly too tight, so I'm going to cut a little bit more off the top here. You know what I'm going to do? Just a skosh, right? Stacy would say a skosh. Or not. Okay, that was really hard to do, but at least I know it's straight. <laughs> Hello, everybody coming in. I missed it. That, so that fits pretty good. So I'm going to keep these in here. I will keep playing and experimenting with them. Let you guys know what I think of them. I mean, if you're going... If you're going to use sticky grid anyway, then there's really no point to this. So 
I'll try it without the sticky grit. I really don't want to put tape on it. I think that kind of defeats the purpose of it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I, I think it's kind of, if you're going to use sticky grit, it's kind of pointless. I like this idea the best so far. I'm going to put this in my Stampin' Up. And I'm not competing with everybody. And Stampin' Up can't yell at me then, right? Just put a little bit of this in there. Plus, if some of you have issues, like I know with my Tim Holtz platform, I kind of have these um, bare spots that happen. And so this is going to give you a little bit of elevation with that little shim in there because it is a plastic shim. So that might help you with your stamping too, just to give you that tiny little bit of elevation in there. All right. Okay. So that's, we'll see how that goes with the sticky grid. We'll see what the verdict is in a few months. Um, you know, I tried that magic mat, whatever that was, that didn't work out. Um, I tried those little ink pad holders. Mm, not, not, not my cup of tea. Now I do pull them out and use them occasionally because in my mind I spent the money on them so I should use them. That doesn't mean I always like to use them. I'm sure you guys are in the same predicament where you buy things and you're like, oh, I'm going to use this all the time. And then you find you use it less and less and less until finally you end up giving it away. Okay. Hi, T. But this is really what I wanted to show you guys. Dun, 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 dun. What is in here? I don't know. I suspect... But I really don't know. So let's open it together. How many Australians do I have in the house? What, what? I gotta clean the desk off. Hold on. I'm sliding things out of the way here. I think I have a little bit more room here. Yeah, where's my Aussie New Zealand team at? Let me move this up. Let's open this bad boy. Maybe Mr. Crafty Critta himself is on here. Scott on here. I didn't tell them I was doing a video tonight. I mean, I really just want to unbox. Maybe we'll do a little bit of playing around. Hey, did you guys catch Pink Fresh Studios? Did a really awesome video today. I know Cynthia was there. Um, on how to use their solid hot foil plate. So um, I watched and I gave them an FSC approved. They did not use any anti-static tools. Um... She even showed if you have toner sheets with toner foil, keep that in mind, if you have toner sheets with toner foil, how to use the solid hot foil plate and transfer those over, which I thought was cool. I don't like to do that because I don't like to mix and match my foiling supplies when I'm doing videos because I think it's hard enough for people to understand the two different um, foiling systems. Um, but that was pretty neat of her to show. I'm sure there's going to be a little bit of confusion out of that because a lot of people are new to foiling. They're new to hot foiling. And then they're going to go in the closet and grab all their deco foil and try to put it on the hot foil plate and then not understand why it doesn't work. But, um, you know, for those that are more advanced in their foiling, I thought that was a pretty cool demonstration. But overall, I was very happy with their demonstration. Um, they did use the glimmer machine and glimmer foils. It would have been nice if one of them was in the, using the Gemini foil and the Gemini machine. But uh, overall, I thought they did a pretty good job. So if you're looking for more hot foiling videos, Pink Fresh Studios did a very good job with their video. Uh, on the other hand, I did watch a video by Waffle Flower. Waffle Flower is entering the foiling arena. They have a new hot foil plate coming out. Um, I'm going to sit back and watch because I think 
Pink Fresh Studios has done a pretty good job at selling theirs and sh demonstrating how to use it. Um, the waffle flower video, I feel like, was geared more towards the Glimmer machine instead of the Gemini foil press machine. I feel like she needed to she needed to give the Gemini foil press machine a little bit more experimenting and trying it out. She kind of gave up on it, I think, and really geared everything towards the Glimmer. And I did comment in her video that um, she was over foiling, overheating her Gemini machine. And if she kept doing that, she would get a warped plate. Um, she commented back very nicely. So, you know, we'll wait and see. Um, how that goes. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> I finally got the lid off. Oh, Heather used it in the beginning. Okay, so then I missed it. All right, got it. Got it. Yeah, it's $18 right now, you guys. I have the Amazon link in Foiling Snobs Club. $18.74 for that plate. All right. Look at this beautiful card from Mrs. Crafty Krita. Oh my gosh. Look at it. So cute. It says, Nancy, hope you enjoy. I will. Ooh, so much fun. Do I not wish I was in the pool somewhere? And if you didn't know, Australia, obviously on the other side of the world from me, it's um, 30 degrees and freezing rain here today. And it's 90 degrees over there. And they're, they're crabbing today. So... <gasps> You guys, this is what I have been waiting for. The Pink Fresh Studio Solid Hot Foil Plate is $18 on my Amazon page. It was 20 bucks the other day. They dropped the price another dollar and dollar twenty-five. Okay, are you guys ready to see this goodness? Colored solid hot uh, solid toner sheets, colored solid toner sheets. So you no longer have to deal with, oh, it went back up to 20, Chow says. Oh man, you no longer have to deal with black toner sheets. I am so interested in seeing how this is gonna work out. Oh, uh, this is cool. So you get eight sheets it looks like. Let's see what colors we have here. We have some blue. Uh-oh, Tracy. We got some purple. We have this nice green. Oh, this would have been fabulous with all of their Christmas designs. So we have green. We have a deep red. Think about that. If you're foiling a Christmas tree, and then you have that leftover foil, the the waste or the, the other piece of the foil, you could then transfer that on green or red instead of having to ink over it, okay? Now, you wanna experiment? Well, we have a multi-color multi sheet. So this has the maroon, the purple, the green, and the blue. Let's open this up for you guys. Hi, Barbara. Hi, T. This is exciting. Something new to the foiling market. And this is why we support these small companies because they think outside the box. Send it to me. Have me experiment with it. We'll see if it works out or not. You guys are supporting them. And you know what? Pretty soon companies are going to be stealing this idea. And we got to make sure everybody knows that Crafty Krita did it first. Okay, so it looks like you get two of each color. If you want to start with the multicolor pack, you get two green, two blue, two purple, and two of the maroon. Okay, so that's the multi-pack. I'm going to put this one back in here, and we'll start with the multi-pack. I saw somebody say they want to send us a card. They can email us at foilingsnobsclub at gmail.com. Um, if you email us, we'll be able to send you the addresses for whoever you want to send the card to. Hi, Paula. Put that back. Okay. You always want to keep your um, 
anything foil related in its original packaging so that it protects it from dust. What did I just do? I did heat embossing. We don't want that heat embossing glitter everywhere. Oh, you guys, look at this really cool lime green. Oh, I like that a lot. All right, is there a multi? Oh, oh my gosh, it keeps getting better. It's my favorite color, yellow. I love it. Oh, no, I lied. Here's my favorite color, fuchsia. Oh, and then we have this beautiful teal blue. And, of course, we have a multi-pack. So we're going to play with these multi-packs, I think. And I got a storage. I think this is for my CP ink. So I got a storage, storage unit for my ink. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. Let me grab some... Crafty Krita toner sheets. And by the way, look at the packaging. This is my storage unit down here. Everything's nicely, securely packaged. You know, it's coming from Australia. You guys saw how hard it was for me to get that box open. They don't want anything breaking. They don't want anything getting scratched. They packed it up nice and neat. Okay, so here, here are the other colors. So what are the... So T0060 are the brights. And T0080 are the, what would you call these, um, gem, 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 gem tones? What do they call them? <laughs> Don't forget, if you guys are going to go shopping, you get a discount code. It's FSC05, FSC05. Don't forget to order your foils while you're there. And yes, it looks a little higher price, but once it converts from Australian dollars to U.S. dollars, if you're in the U.S., it is cheaper. The U.S. dollar is a little cheaper than the Australian dollar. They do take PayPal. They do package and ship pretty quickly. Our postal service is a little slow. That's not their fault. But look at these gorgeous colors. So this is a fuchsia. And then we have this bright lemon yellow. A nice lime green. And this teal blue. And then, so those I'm going to call the bright, the brights pack. And then this would be called the, the gem tones, I guess, right? Paranas. Yes, Candice. <laughs> we have the dark green. Darker blue, purple, and a maroon red. Hey, Abraham. Okay. So let me grab let me grab my minky mink. We want the minky mink. We need our dusty dusty brush. We need our um we need some toner sheets. Let me grab those. Hello, doggy. I have a couple of foils here. Hold on. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get the mink heated up. Now, one of the things I did find is last time I did this, when my mink gets too hot, we start having foiling issues. So I think it's best to start uh, between two and three on your mink and go from there, just depending on how thick. Hi, Leanne. So I got mini mink heating up. I need to do some birthday stuff. So maybe we do this. You know what? I want the sunglasses. Aha, perfect. So if you're not aware what I'm doing or you're new to foiling, first of all, welcome to my channel. You'll want to join the Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook if you have a Facebook account. You do have to answer all the questions. If you're trying to get into Facebook and you don't are into our group and you don't answer all the questions, um, my team is instructed to not let you in. We really sniff out that all those questions have been answered and that you're going to agree to follow the rules and so on. Um, what happens in the group stays in the group. So we want to make sure that everybody is kind in the group and they follow the rules and you know we want to be a nice supportive group of people here all right 
So normally when you do, this is toner foiling, so this is not hot foiling. So let me give my little disclaimer about that. So toner foiling is foil that needs something to stick to or adhere to. So normally you use a laser printed design. You can prepay some laser printed designs or you can um, print them yourself at home, but they must be printed on a laser printer, okay? If you do not print them on a laser printer, it's not going to work. And then the foil will stick. This is completely different from the hot foiling system. This will not work on the hot foiling system. I don't wanna confuse anybody with the two systems. So you wanna use a mink or a laminator for what we're gonna do for this foil transfer. So first thing I'm gonna do is just move things to the table behind me here. Up until now, you've only had the choice of black toner sheets. And what black toner sheets do is when you're done doing your foil, the foil sticks to the toner sheet, and then you get two cards for the price of one. I'm going to demonstrate that real quick while my mink is heating up. I have a couple sheets over here. Okay, so if you guys remember, we just did kitchen sink stamps um, release was some toner sheets. I think we'll use these to practice on. Okay, we'll try these. They're already here. Okay, I have my mink set to two, okay? We're gonna see how this goes because I did notice that I was overheating the foil and it was not doing a good job at transferring. So we're gonna start at two. I think as it warms up, it'll get better. Between two and three, I think are my best bets on these. So normally when you start your foiling, and Crafty Krita is a company out of Australia, We want to thank them for supporting us. I'm going to get right into the colored toner sheets. So what I did, just to show you an example, is I printed this out on my home printer. Laser printer. Laser. Okay. And this is what it came out when I foiled it. Okay. It looks pretty dang cool, right? And we know Valentine's Day is just around the corner. Then I have this leftover piece of foil, okay? So what do we do with these? Well, in the old days, we would try to cut it apart and glue it down or throw it away or put it inside envelopes. So we wanna reuse this. And this is where those colored toner sheets come in. So if you would try to use this and foil it, it would look like this again on a normal toner sheet because all of the toner would be black and all of the outside would be foiled. So let's use it on a colored toner sheet. You guys tell, vote here on what color you wanna do. I think a dark color would be best. So this is a light pink kind of holographic. This is the Crafty Krita Pink Rainbow Hollow is what it's called. Pink Rainbow Hollow that we used on this. Ooh, well, how will this look on fuchsia? Well, that's just too much pink on pink, I think. So, yeah, that's what I was thinking, Ken, but I think that's almost too dark. What do you guys think? Hi, Stephanie. There's a, looks like on the teal blue. This is so cool, you guys. I am excited to try this. Purple, somebody said. I think purple might be the good choice. Yeah, I think purple is going to be our best. What do we think? Purple? Because it's dark enough for the pink to go through. They don't clash. We're going to go with purple. 
Okay, so we always want a dusty dusty. This is very important with foiling. Um, that means that we take the dust off. That does not mean we add dust. So please do not use your anti-static tool. I'm going to cut this down to A2 size. Uh, actually, I'm going to cut it down to five and a quarter by four. I'm going to do four. So it's just big enough to be a card panel. Wow, 104 people watching. Hello, people. I am like 39 away from 24,000 subscribers. So if you're in the background watching, please consider hitting that subscribe button for me. Stephanie ordered these already. Great. Okay. So we have the toner sheet. We're putting this inside a protective plastic sheet, which is designed for the mink machine. This is not a laminator sheet. It does not have any kind of adhesive in there. It is not a laminating sheet. It's a protective piece to make sure this doesn't get all boogered up when it goes into the machine. And I'm going to try to line this up as best as I can here. I am probably going to have to cut this down, but I want all of that toner sheet covered. And I think that looks pretty good. And now I'm on two, so we'll have to see if this is hot enough at two. Might have to go to three, but let's see. There is a little bit of a curl in my foil there, and I'm gonna pull this down. I want to eliminate anything that's gonna make this kind of bubble up. All right, let's see how we do here. Ooh, you guys, I'm so excited. Okay, now we had another one. We have this one, which is that same color, but these are smaller, lighter hearts. This one, I think, I'm gonna try to do, I think the, the red with this one, because we just want a little, oh no, we're gonna do pink. We just want a little peak of these hearts coming through. So while that's going through, same thing, I'm going to cut this down to four. We're going to sample every color. And we want to make sure that we have the right heat setting. Now, everybody's... Mink is a little different because you have different pressure, you have different heat settings. If you're using mama mink or the big mink, those are all gonna make a difference in your foiling. So sometimes some of you guys, if you're using a laminator, you might need to let that laminator heat up for 30 minutes before you do any kind of foiling with it. If you are using a, um, some laminators, you gotta use a shim. Some mink machines gotta use a shim and that just means you just gotta add a little extra piece of uh, card stock to give it a little bit of pressure. And I, I wanna smooth all this out and like I said, just make sure that I don't get any kind of crinkles or anything like that. Then we're gonna, folded side goes in first and you wanna put this directly in the middle. Now, if your mink machine starts to eat your folder, which does happen, you want to turn it off on the back here and then there's a release button and you can hold that release button and then pull it out. Um, you don't want to dismantle and open your machine. You always want to let it set aside for a second to cool down. And yes, this will work with your leftover hot oils. I know somebody's going to ask me that, so I will demonstrate that as well. If you don't have that, Pink Fresh Studio hot foil plate and you want to foil your negative or waste foil from that. Uh-oh, where'd you guys go? I lost my chats. I like the Mini Mink because I only do card making with it. If you're going to be doing um, actual laminating or you do larger pages of foiling 
um, then you may want to get the Big Mama mink. I know in Europe it's easier to get the Big Mama mink than the Little mink. If you're interested in the Little mink, the best place I've found that has it is Blick, and we do have a link for Blick. All right, so I'm going to do this one first. So this one is very subtle. I did the fuchsia with the holographic pink. Let's see how we do. I am on a low setting of only two on the mink. That is super cool, you guys. That is really neat. That is so pretty. I don't have to ink it. And of course, if we wanted to, we could go back and double foil it, but we don't have to double foil it. And see, we don't have any wasted foil there. I'm going to cut this down so it fits my card front. Okay, let's do this one, the purple and the pink. Really cool. Now this foil had some wrinkles in it, so those bubbles you see are because my foil was wrinkly, not because of anything else. That's cool. Okay, let's do... We're going to keep going here. I have a piece of... I got a piece of this hot foil here. I know it's hot foil because that's my hot foil plate. And same thing. It's kind of a maroonish red color. Let's go in with... Let's do yellow. Um, the carrier sheets should be in my Amazon Laura under toner foiling. Now you can see when I did my hot foiling, this is not perfect. There are some edges here that didn't foil very well, um, but I'm still going to utilize this because that gives us an opportunity to embellish, put sequins or word dyes or whatever on there. We're going to use this nice, bright, sunshine yellow here. So if you have a pile of foil sitting on your desk that you need to do something with, here you go. It's perfect. I'm, gonna tr I'm trying to center this as best as I can. I don't want it to be crooked. Obviously, this one's a little more directional than the others, so I want to make sure we're doing it right. Come on, Nance. Just stick it down. Baby, are you down, 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 down? Ah! All right, I got to do something here. Okay. Here comes my mom. She's going to try to talk to me. Okay, let's see here if we can get this to work. There's a little wrinkle in this foil too, but this is hot foil. This is not toner foil, and it will stick to here just fine. That'll be cool, that red and yellow color like that. Told you, should have put money on that one. <laughs> okay, so another reason you might want these is maybe you have somebody who's, maybe you're not sure if you want to do foiling or not, and you just want an idea, and you want to die cut like a sentiment or something. You can die cut the sentiment out of the color that you want. And then you can decide after the fact if you want to foil it or not. So it is a nice option just to have this hardy cardstock. Obviously, my option is to foil everything in sight. But look at that. Freaking cool. Look at that. Look at that. And like I said, this one didn't, didn't properly hot foil when I did it the first time. 
but I think that's cool. It's very masculine looking to me, the, the lines with the two different colors. That is cool. Okay. Let's make some new panels and then hot foil them. So I want to use... Which one is going to get the big mama mink? No, not unless you're going to do, you buy the big, unless you buy the big uh, mink. Oh, you guys want to know what size they are. Okay, so these are in metric, right? Two 210 millimeters versus 148 millimeters. And in English, that would be... Five and three quarter inches by just just a little hair over eight inches. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, Susan found how uh, Susan, I don't know where you found hundred pound hammer mill, but good for you. <laughs> So if you wanted to foil this whole thing, you could put that whole thing in there and foil it. Let's, um, I wanted to do the sunglasses. Where's my sunglasses? Paula said, all her Valentine's cards have toner foiling. That's so cool. Okay. So this is uh, product T0020. So if you don't have a laser printer, like I printed those by myself. If you don't have a laser printer, you can buy their toner art, foil art, um, I have so many different designs, you guys. I just have a very small, small, small smattering of what they have. Okay, so let's do, let's do this one. Pillars of Light. Somebody's going to have to send me a link because there is a specific 100-pound hammer mill. It is a 100-pound hammer mill premium color cardstock with the chameleon on the front. Yes, there is a 100-pound hammer mill on... Oops. There is 100-pound hammer mill on... Amazon, but I have not found the premium color cardstock with the chameleon. If it's not the one with the chameleon, it's not the one I'm looking for. And I don't want to buy five reams of it. I just want to buy one ream of it. Um, I'm going to use this for both of these guys. And this is called Pillars of Light. It's a silver holographic, but it has these kind of streaks of light. I mean, it is Pillars of Light. It's the perfect name for it. Okay. So we're going to dusty, dusty. Yeah. Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy Cardstock. And it has to have the chameleon. A chameleon, it looks like a lizard. Oh, stuck. We always want a dusty, dusty here. I see a little smudge of dust on there. And I'm staying on two. Seems to be working okay. I really was. I think I was overheating these before. I'm going to put it in like this. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's only in Canada, eh? Okay, well, that makes sense because everybody kept saying, it's on Amazon, it's on Amazon. I'm like, oh, it ain't on Amazon, you guys. I literally check every day. 
80 pounds there, and 80 pound works just as good. If you're gonna be doing toner foiling though, I don't recommend the hammer mill as much as I recommend Hamilco. So that is easily found in stock, 80 pound Hamilco. H-A-M-I-L-C-O, it is in my Amazon shop. Hamilco works best for this kind of foiling. But you can stock up for the next two years of paper, she says. It has to be the chameleon. $29.99. That's expensive. I'm cheap. Nah, I have a ream. Oh, I knew that dust spot was going to come back. I can see it. It's right there. Hamilco is what you want for toner foiling. It's beautiful for toner foiling. <laughs> That's right, frugal, not cheap. I can see there's a little dust spot there that I... And that's what I get for doing... Look at that. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that when that happens. Okay, so we want to take it off of here because we don't want this to foil. So we want to very carefully kind of scratch it off of here. As careful as you can. And you may not be able to get all of it. I mean, you could scratch it off later too, but. Okay. So now I'm going to transfer this. Let's go to yellow. Because that just looks good. And what I will do. All right. So here's a couple things we need to talk about. If I run this through my machine just like this, all of this is going to stick to my um, protective sh mink. Um folder there, my transfer folder. So I don't want to do that. And I really don't want to waste any of that because I can use that on another card. So I'm going to try to line this up as straight as I can because most likely I will fussy cut these sunglasses out to use them on my card, right? I'll probably pop them up. So I'm going to line this foil up because everything you see that's foiled is what's going to foil here, not just the sunglasses. All of that foil on the outside is going to foil. So I'm going to line these up in my trimmer. And I want to be very careful about how I cut this because I want to cut it as straight as I can with the foil on there. I don't want any of that excess toner hanging out because it will stick to your transfer folder. And then I can use that. I can use these strips of toner on sentiments and things like that. So I really wanna make sure I'm lined up straight here so that when I go to cut these out, or if I want them square, they are square. I hope that makes sense. Waste not is what I'm trying to say. All right. The second time you foil, when you do the waste, it's never going to be as crisp and clear as the first time you foil it. But honestly, most people aren't going to notice. Okay, they're just going to see these cool yellow foiled sunglasses. So now this is perfectly lined up. It should be good like that. Believe me, if you just got impatient and stuck this in there, you would have yellow toner stuck all over your folder and you would not be happy about trying to get all that off. So this little boo-boo I made, this happens all the time. That's from me not doing a good job getting all the dust off my desk before I started foiling. You're gonna take a glue pen. Okay, as um, a EK Success Zig two-way glue pen or a Quickie, glue pen, any of these, 
and you're gonna dab that little spot. Now that's a pretty big spot on this one. So what happens is this glue will be blue when I stick it on there and then it'll turn white when it's clear. Now it's not gonna be perfect, but we'll be able to fix it. It's like putting concealer on a blemish, okay? People will see a bump on your face, but it won't look like a red zit, okay? Okay, so now let's look at this one. Okay, so now we're gonna pull the top layer off. This is our release sheet. You could not ask for anything cleaner than that. Look how cool this is. I love it. Shine bright like a diamond. How cool is that? So we have the original set, which I'm gonna fix this boo-boo in a second once that glue dries. And now we have the reverse, or the, uh, what do they call it? It's not the reverse. I can't speak today. ASMR foiling peel. Okay, so that's that one. Let's look at this one. Let's do the same thing. The negative, that's what I meant to say. Yes, Stacy, thank you. I see a dust spot on here too. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. That's why it's important to keep your desk clean and not use embossing powder before you do your foiling. So we're gonna put a little dot on here, blemish corrector. And you don't want a lot, you just want a little. Let that dry. And then I gotta remove my little blemish on here before I foil with it. And I'm just scratching it off of the carrier sheet. I don't want that transferred onto my sunglasses. Okay, and I'm gonna use the pink. Cause I like pink, I like pink. Okay, if you guys watch TikTok, you'll know what I'm talking about. Yes, I go down the TikTok rabbit hole. It's my kid's fault. They made me do it. It's all Leah's fault. Now see, this one stretches across a little further. And yes, you say, Nance, you're being a little finicky. I'd rather be a little finicky now than deal with trying to fussy cut this later. Because you guys know, I don't like to do that. But I like pink. Pink. Okay. Here we go. And it is normal for your mink machine to stink. And mine stinks. It smells like it's burning plastic. Smells like a crayon's melting in the middle of it. You guys, my mom is going on a date tomorrow night. Yep, my mother. I'm a little jealous, not gonna lie, but I'm happy to get her out of the house. Okay, here we go. Those are going to look cool. All right, so are we understanding the concept here of toner foiling and using these toner sheets? Because if not, ask the questions. This is the nicest, friendliest group. We will answer them for you. Um, so here are the two that I had the boo-boos with, right? Remember I cut this little bit of excess foil off, right? So now you're gonna take this little bit of excess foil once your glue has now gl dried to uh, clear. It's not blue anymore, it's clear. And you're just gonna dab that on there. You're gonna burnish it over your, over your little blemish. 
And like I said, it's a concealer for your boo-boo. It's not going to be perfect. You don't want to try to run this back through your machine because that's not going to work. And then you're going to pull it off. So everybody's going to see the little bump, but it's not a big red zit anymore. See? So all of your non-crafty, non-foiling friends won't even notice. Okay, this one too. exiting the chat and missing what you guys are saying. Stupid phone. Okay. I still have it on two. Yep. Come on. My foil wants to stick. Here we go. Oh, not stuck enough. Not dry enough. I'm going to go back and do that one again. That pulled the glue right off. Okay. Let's do it again. I don't think I have enough glue that time. The first time was too much glue. Okay, so we're gonna set that one aside to dry. Let's reveal this pretty lady. Clear a cell for foiling. Exactly, Cynthia. So remember when you do this, there's a top cover sheet you need to remove. You don't have to remove it, but um, you should remove it. <laughs> so we're gonna grab that. The tweezers. There we go. Oh, you guys want the ASMR version, huh? Ooh, under foiling there. So definitely we'll cut those out. That's why I like it a little bit bigger. How cool is that? So we have two bright, sunny, holographic ones, and we have two colored ones. So cool. Okay, let's do another set. Um, you know this is addicting, right? You guys, like, we're going to be here all night foiling all kinds of things. Uh, the glue has to be a two-way glue that remains tacky when it's dried. So I like the Zig two-way glue. Uh, Tombow mono glue is another one that works good. The green one, this one works pretty good. This green one. Um, quickie glue pen works pretty good. So some glues, like it's not going to work on this glue, this art glitter glue, because this dries way too fast. It has to remain tacky for the foil to stick to it. Yep. Good question. Heather's just, hers just shipped, she said. Okay, so I need, I wanted to do um, some happy birthday sentiments. They have these small ones. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't like to foil these. Um, they look good the way they are. I've just been cutting them and using them like that. But I like to foil these bigger ones. But these little ones, I just cut them and use them like that and glue them to the inside of the card. Okay, so let's try, try a couple of these. And hopefully I don't over foil them. I'm going to do them in different colors. If you were going to do them all in the same color, you wouldn't have to cut them apart. But we'll do them in different colors. How many of our FSC members have birthdays in February? And how many of you joined the card swap? The card swap is still open. I believe the theme is spring. Right? Spring, Mother's Day, thinking of you, something like that. So if you join the card swap on Foiling Snobs Club, um, and then you get a birthday card from me and Tracy for the month of your birthday. So it just gives you extra incentive. Okay, let's do... 
bright gold. I'll do this one in gold. Laura Ann says hers is on Monday. Well, happy birthday, Laura Ann. Susan, I am using Crafty Krita Foil Art with Crafty Krita Foil and the new colored Crafty Krita Toner Sheets. And you guys can order these from Crafty Krita at a discount. The discount code is FSC05. those hundred people that are joining us tonight if you are interested in these and you want to go do some looking around and shopping um, crafty Krita does take PayPal and they do ship everywhere that they can ship obviously there's some restrictions in some countries right now with the COVID happening but um, if you are in the US when it converts from Australian dollars to US dollars it converts a little bit cheaper and that's the code we have for right now. They have not changed it yet. I don't know. I mean, they have the right to cancel it and change it whenever they want. Um, so it's good for now. I don't know what will happen or when they'll take it away. They can do that whenever they want. Uh, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys was... Um, when, it sh when it converts from U.S. dollars... From Australian dollars to U.S. dollars, it's a little bit cheaper. But you want to stock up on your toner sheets. Not just the colored ones, but the black ones are very helpful. They have slimline toner sheets. They have a lot of different uh, foils. And they have new foils coming out. And um, once the FSC gets a hold of this, I mean, we only have 100 folks watching. That's not a whole bunch, but over the overnight, we'll have over you know, 500 people, then 1,000 people watching this video, <laughs> um, very quickly, they're going to sell out. They always do. <laughs> so if you're, if it's something you're thinking about, just saying hop on over there and, and get it. Now, I don't mind if you need to leave the video to go do a little bit of shopping. I'll be here when you want to come back. And I'm just grabbing a whole bunch of different kinds of colors and styles. Um of foils here. So the gold that I used was called bright gold. The silver was silver stars, glitter stars and silver. This red is called mandarin slice, which is a nice bright orange with these little streaks in it, almost like a streamer, streaky streamers. And you'll see I'm doing the same process every time. I'm dusting the back of the foil. It's always the back of the foil on top of my image. I'm dusting my image. Folded side of my cover sheet goes into the mink, and then it feeds in there nice and slow. You don't want to try to pull this through. Um, you don't want it to go fast at all. You want it to be slow, and you don't want to unveil it. See how I'm letting them sit here? Well, what they're doing is they're cooling down, and as they cool down, that foil sticks. It melds to the toner image better, and so you'll have a better it, um, you'll have a better release when you go to release it. Melanie says, it's hard to stop. Let's try this color. Oh, wait, let's try this color. You're right, you're right. Good night, Meg. You're right. It is quite addicting. For sure. And they have wonderful, wonderful toner art. They have florals. They have masculine. They have um, holidays. So if you don't have a laser printer, you don't want to go through all of buying the paper and buying the toner and figuring it out. And you know what? You can buy theirs. 
They're high quality. They're pre-printed on the same type of paper that I recommend, the Hamilco paper. These are heavy-duty cardstock. You can ink over these. You can color over them with your markers. So it's a hardy cardstock. I can see the dust. I can see the blemish. Still there. Maybe it's in the cover sheet. We'll find out. You do want to work in a nice clean area. If you have a Swiffer, I would recommend wiping your desk with Swiffer first. Um, I just did heat embossing on the desk, so no doubt that's part of my issue tonight. But you want to have a nice smooth area when you do your foiling. Clean. No pets, no cats, no dogs, none of that. There, I fixed my other boo-boo. Let's reveal these guys. And then we'll take some more of these colored toner sheets and we'll do color toner. Oh, that's beautiful. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. We got that one. Let that one pull down. It's upside down. You guys, it is dusty, dusty day here. This is another one. Next time I do heat embossing and I'm going to go do foiling, you guys got to tell me to clean the desk. And foil by nature is kind of staticky. It has this, it wants to attract all those things. So if you have any kind of dust on your desk, it's going to attract it. And it's so small and tiny that it's perfect that you're not even going to see it. But believe me, that foil grabs a hold of it. Oh my gosh. Perfect. So these look beautiful. These are great. We don't need to do anything with these. I got to fix that one there. But now we want to use these guys. So this is where the colored toner sheets come in. So let's see here. I'm going to do the purple with this guy. I like to do opposite. So since I use such a bright foil, I want to use a little bit darker toner sheet. If I use a dark foil, I want to use a lighter color toner sheet. Correct. Crafty Krita does not sell hot foil at this time. They only sell toner foil. Toner foil is for your mink or your laminator. If your laminator gets hot enough, sometimes you gotta run it through twice, but if your laminator gets hot enough, you can use um, this. I'm gonna leave this little piece of toner hanging out just to see how much of it transfers to my transfer folder. I already have one that's, see this one's already stained? So we'll see how this one does. Yes, they do not sell hot foil. If you are interested in hot foil, I'm going to recommend that you go with um, Blue Bonnet Hot Foil. She did do a price increase this year because it's costing her more for shipping, obviously everything that's going on. Um, so from her manufacturer, she did have to, to pass that price, a little bit of a price increase, but still for the value of how much foil you're getting from her, I think it's $6 a roll now, it's still a good value. So if you're interested in Hot Foil for the Glimmer or the Gemini Foil Press, that would be Blue Bonnet Foil RGV on Facebook. That's the only way you can order from her. Uh, let's grab another one of these. So I got gold. What color have we not used yet? We used the pink. We used the yellow. We didn't use lime green yet, right? Just foiling along here my admins thank you guys for helping out i have tracy stacy chow and t helping out so if you have any questions they also very familiar with foiling 
And if you're not a member of our Facebook group, our Facebook group, this is what we do. We do card making and foiling. It's called Foiling Snobs Club on Facebook. Answer the questions. We'll let you in. Everybody in there is so helpful and so knowledgeable, and we all are there to support your journey in crafting. What about this? This navy with the orange. Oh, that's going to look cool. My football team did not make it to the Super Bowl. My quarterback is retiring. So I think we'll be on the short end for a little while. But, you know, it is what it is. My daughter did not have school today because of the ice storms that we're getting. My son had to go to school for two hours. I sent him a text, and he was in class. And I'm like, hey, are you getting out early today? Did you have school today? And he's like, I don't know. So 20 minutes later, I got the text getting out of school. So I got to pick him up a little early today. And then Leah went to the neighbors, went to hang out with her bestie. And Xavier's in his room playing video games, of course. So, it's just me and the dog. Mom's, I don't know what mom's doing. She was on the phone like a teenage girl with her little new boyfriend that she's talking to. At least I know he's real and he's not a scammer. I will meet him tomorrow night. So far, I, I feel like I'm the mom and she's the daughter. Like, I'm like, okay, it's time for you guys to get off the phone now. And then, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do when Leah's a teenager. Xavier said he wants to go to some girl's house this weekend, so that'll be interesting. I feel very overprotective of my family. <laughs> this is going to look cool. What's isn't it, Aren't the Broncos like orange and blue, right? Got Broncos fans out there. And it's not going to be perfect. If I got to cut down some, I'll cut down some. Yeah, right? You hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, you hang up. Seriously, I'm like, I'm going to bed. Goodbye. Hang up. <laughs> I'm hanging up on you. <laughs> Cynthia doesn't have a team. Chris Frankel says, go Rams. Nice blue with the orange. <laughs> Full reversal. My video wasn't loading. Is it, is it okay? Is it clear for you guys? I know we had some issues with... Um, what do you call it? YouTube has been... Act My Facebook Messenger, I think, is working now, but your still best bet is to just uh, email me. But I want to make sure that it's nice and clear because it's no fun to look at the foiling if you can't see all the colors. Okay, so we I'm trying to go through every color here. We've used the dark blue, the lime green, the purple. Oh, we haven't used the dark green. I don't want to use that with red, though. And I don't want to do red on red. Oh, we haven't used this bright blue. We'll do that. We'll do bright blue. We haven't used this yet. This is like, this is Chow's favorite color blue. Chow loves the color blue. Chow's daughter is teething. Her schedule is all messed up. She's like, one day she can't stay awake. The next day she can't stay asleep. She's full of energy. She's rolling around all over the place, trying to scoot herself around. She has grown up so fast, little Miss Kaylin. This was a little crooked. I'm trying to straighten it out before I cut it. Okay. And Kyle's gonna be set. Kyle's gonna be seven, right? He's gonna be seven here in a couple weeks. <laughs> Today, Chow was, was holding the baby, and she's like, I'm so tired from holding the baby. I'm like, I'll come and hold her. I'll come to California and hold your baby any day. Tracy says, I'm not rooting for any of them. Yeah, I probably won't be watching, honestly. Do you guys want me to do a live for you on Super Bowl Sunday? <laughs> 
Should we go let should we go let the men watch football and we'll hang out and do crafting? <laughs> My mink's making some weird noises. That's the mink making those noises. I said chiefs, but didn't you see that old ad where they misspelled it? Cynthia says, sure. Okay, this is the one I wanted to see if the purple left. Let's pull this off of here. Okay, so it didn't leave as much. So if you guys look here, this is from Old Foiling, and that's black toner card on there. Here's the purple. It didn't really leave anything on there. So that's good. It'll be easier to clean up. If that happens, you just take a little piece of acetone. Sorry, a little bit of acetone on paper towel, and you want 100% acetone, which is nail polish remover. But you don't want nail polish remover that advertises that it has conditioners. Because if you use nail polish remover with conditioners like vitamin E, nourishing, anything like that, that's going to make your transfer sheets foggy. You don't want that. So you want to use 100% acetone. So these look great like this, but we need to peel and reveal them. Dawn's back. Um, if anybody's trying to get in FSC right now, it's because we're all here and you can't get in yet. So I gotta, these guys gotta go in and take a look at it. All right. So let's, let's, uh, take the clear transfer sheet off the top of these. And again, personal preference. If you don't want to take that transfer sheet off, it's very pretty and shiny. No one's going to know that there's a clear transfer sheet on top of there. It's personal preference. Sometimes if you forget to take it off, Hey, it happens. But there is a clear sheet, and if you pull that off, then you get your ASMR. Look at how fabulous that is. And then this goes in the trash can. It's waste. So that one, since it's so close, I'm going to leave that like that. I'm just going to put something heavy on there to hold that. And then I'll flip that back over and glue it back down. Okay, so we have blue toner sheet with the red lava, what's it called? Lava flow foil. That just is trippy. And then we have orange on the dark blue toner sheet. That one looks really cool. We do have a little blip there, but again, I'm not going to worry about that. We have silver stars on purple. And then we would just cut this down or use a circle die or a rectangle die or whatever you have to cut that out. And then here we have the originals. So this one goes with this one. This one is the one that's getting fixed. This one goes with this one. That one came out cool. This one goes with this one. And then again, if you want to do something to liven this up, you can always go in and color these. You can color these with alcohol markers. You can color them with uh, watercolor markers, you can color with color pencils. You don't have to leave it just plain like that. This is a very heavy duty cardstock. It takes ink very well. It takes blending very well. So you can do as much. You can stamp over this if you wanted to jazz it up some more. I'm going to show you all the things. So don't let my laziness of being a quick card maker discourage you. If you like to really embrace your artistic side, um, like T, Tracy Fear, she's very artistic. She takes her time. She adds a lot of layers and colors and dimension to her art. 
you can do all of that with the foiling. Don't let the foil discourage you. Okay, I foiled it and now I'm done. I'm a very lazy card maker. I like to make things in 15, 20 minutes. If you watch most of my videos, like the videos are like a half an hour. That's from front to back, you guys, from me cutting my paper, talking all the way through it, showing you every step of the way. But usually the actual card making part is 15, 20 minutes. So let's say, okay, I do that. Okay, that looks great. Now I want to, I want to ink this up. So now, I mean, this, this paper is super smooth, so it takes ink very nicely, whether you're coloring or you're ink blending. And if you want to print your own, this is the same as uh, Hamilco paper. So if you want to do your own foiling and you want to have these same kind of results, 100 pound Hamilco, H-A-M-I-L-C-O, in my Amazon shop under toner foiling. Hamilco, not hammer mill, Hamilco. Okay, and now, okay, that looks cool. I've colored in the letters. I've ink blended the outside. I still feel like I need to bring something else to the table here. I gotta do take my sheet out of here. Here, let's try using the new sticky sheet here. I'm going to slide that in there. And I'm going to put this like this. Okay, I'm going to put this like this. Okay, that worked good. Didn't come up. I'm going to can't put a magnet in there. It's the perfect reason we can't use a magnet. And I'm going to grab a little bit darker color. Grab this dark one here. So I've colored it. I've ink blended over it. Now I'm going to stamp over it. And it's still foiled. You want to stencil over it, stencil over it. You want to use lunar paste on it, use lunar paste over it. It's a very hardy keeper, and all of that can be done with the foiling. Now you're saying, Nancy, you messed it up. You lost all of that. Just wait a second. Just relax. Pam just got home. Hi, Pam. My mom is cooking something. It smells, and it's gross. It's definitely not my mink machine that smells like that. Okay, now this is the fun part, getting this thing out of here. I'm going to have to put some washi tape under there or something. Oh, now I got ink on this. Now I got to clean this up. I didn't think about that. Now, because this paper has a slight coating, I am being a little careful here because it'll be very easy for me to smudge this ink. Oh, this is going to get, this is going to get all warpy now. Smudging and warping. I'm warping my warp speed. <laughs> this is what happens when Nancy gets overzealous. All right, I will deal with cleaning that up later. And what you want to do here is you do want to give this a second for this ink to dry because this paper is coated. Look, see, don't touch it. Give it a second to dry. Spirit Junkie's yelling at me. Are you going to give that, sec that a second to dry? Once it's dry, you're going to carefully take a paper towel and dab over the foiled letters 
and the ink should lift off of those foiled letters. Yeah, I said I would reserve judgment on these sticky mats. Maybe I need to cut the sticky mat down a little bit. Obviously, I got some ink in here. I'm just kind of rubbing it off. <laughs> I, think, I think I should have just stuck with my sticky grid. <laughs> okay, well, you know, some of these things, there's a little bit of a learning curve. Clearly, this is one of them. All right, what else do you guys want to see with these new toner sheets? Did we, first of all, did I use every color like I said I was going to do? Do you guys understand the basics of toner foiling? And yes, I've been on two the whole time. I didn't cross the line to three, and I didn't have any foiling problems today. So um, I think with the Crafty Krita foils and Toner Art 2 seems to be the best setting. And I, when I started out before, I would be on three and everything would work fine. And then as soon as my machine, machine would get too hot, it would start messing up my foiling. So I learned my lesson. Okay, so now this looks like it's dry. I'm gonna let that fall back into place. Rubby, 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 rubby. Nope, okay, I'll fix that one later. I might just leave the clear sheet on that. Who's gonna know? They'll never know. So, I don't know if I did or not. You Should I plug that in and check it? Are you guys done with this? Let me check all the colors. Let's make sure we used all the colors. So everybody who's just joining us, like Pam just got off of work. Pam, Crafty Krita sent me this cool box of colored toner sheets. And there's, um, you can buy them individual colors you get four in a pack or, right, it's four in a pack? I don't know. I think it's four in a pack. Did I say four in a pack? Sorry, it's eight in a pack. It's eight in a pack. Eight, eight. Eight in a pack. And... There's a, like a, um, what do we call them? Gems, royal gems. I call them brights and gemstones is how I call them. So let me break these up so you guys can see these colors. We didn't use the dark green. You guys, or the maroon. Okay, so here are the brights. You get bright yellow, a fuchsia, a teal blue, and a lime green. And we did use all of those colors to do some toner foiling. And you get eight sheets. You get two of each if you get the colored packs. Or if you want eight sheets of lime green, you can go buy separate colors. And then we have these, I'm going to call them royal gemstone colors, whatever you want to call them. These are darker jewel tones. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. So we have this dark green, navy, purple, which we used, and this dark kind of garnet car color, reddish color, right? These do kind of look like birthstones, right? So you'd have garnet, amethyst, emerald, and sapphire, right? So pretty, pretty colors. So we did, so you get an eight pack of the colors if you want the two different sets of colors, or if you say, hey, my name's Tracy and purple's my favorite color and I want eight sheets of purple, then you can just go buy the purple and get eight sheets of purple. So for toner foiling, if you're gonna print at home from your laser printer, I recommend Hamilco, H-A-M-I-L-C-O. Hamilco paper for toner foiling if you're gonna print at home with your laser printer. It is accessible right now. You can get a box of 25 sheets. Uh, I think it's 25 sheets. Is it 25 or 50 sheets? But uh, I would recommend the 80 or the 100 pound. I like the 100 pound. Depends on your printer. And then there is also um, Hammer Mill is what I use when I am hot foiling. So hot foiling would be through my glimmer machine 
or my Gemini foil press machine. And that's where everybody's jumping on the hot foiling bandwagon and getting hammer mill. However, you can hot foil on anything, you guys. Hot foiling has an adhesive built into the foil and it'll stick to anything. So if you have Nina, if you have Stampin' Up, whatever you have will work with hot foiling. You might just need to adjust your temperature or your timer settings on using different paper. Okay. If you have Yupo paper, Yupo paper works amazing. I used Graphics Craft Plastic the, a couple weeks ago, and that worked amazing. All right, I'm going to move this stuff aside. I honestly have not plugged in my Glimmer since the day that I think I blew it up. So let's see how it does. Any questions about what I showed you guys with the toner foiling? Tracy says she uses Hammer Mill for both. So, personal preference. All right, I'm going to move my mini minky out of the way here. And if you don't have a mink, I highly recommend a mink over a laminator. You can get that from Blick Art Stores in the U.S. Obviously, you want to buy the right voltage for wherever you live. Hello to all of my friends all around the world. If you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'm only like 39 away from 24,000 subscribers. That just boggles my mind. I cannot believe that all you people want to hang out and do foiling with me. Listen to my boring life. Thank you, T. Okay, so last weekend, I did a hot foiling video, and about an hour into my video, my glimmer was not going to heat up anymore. Now, I suspected it's because these have a built-in um, safety timer that after playing with them for so long, it forces the machines to cool down. I know the foil press does it. Um, it just, uh, just did. So I kept waiting for it to warm up and it didn't warm up. So we're going to try it. I did get some more Cricut. So you guys have asked me about how do I keep my plates, keep everything from jiggling. So heat resistant tape Cricut is $4 on my Amazon page. Yep. So it's $4, and this is what I use to tape my plates. I have, There are two plates in the Glimmer. There's a clear plate, and then there's this thin shim here. And I tape mine together, and I tape them on the left side. You don't want to tape them to the top of the machine, because this is where the, the clip is to um, get your electricity through here. This whole unit heats up, and then occasionally... I'll, I'll switch this tape out, but that's right. If you're left-handed, you might want to tape this side. Um, so oh, we got some paper stuck in there. And I did some foiling. I did some showing you how to, what happens when it overfoils? Why does that happen? What happens when it underfoils? Why does that happen? How do you fix it? I showed how to foil dies. Um, so what they did a video today at Pink Fresh Studios they were using the Glimmer system. I think a little bit of the Gemini foil press that I missed. Um, but that, I think that foiling plate's going to pick up in popularity. There's a new company, Waffle Flower, that's bringing one out. It's supposedly a little bigger, but we'll wait and see. Now, I will say, this machine of mine takes five to ten minutes to get uh, warm. So it, we might be here a while. So let me let me go through comments and ask answer questions while we're waiting here. And if it doesn't work, then Nancy's gonna have to go to Hobby Lobby tomorrow and buy a new one. Um. Yes, if you're not following my friends, T is not afraid of color. Tracy Schultz is Tracy Schultz, the hopeful crafter. Um, Stacy is SNR Creations and Chow is Create with Chow. And I'll tell you what each one of their little niches are. 
Um, Stacy H says she uses the Couture Creations hot foil machine, which is great. I'm going to flip you guys this way so I can read comments this way while we're waiting. Look, there's my glasses I keep forgetting to wear. Hi, guys. Tracy bought me the shirt. It's my favorite shirt. Okay. So, crystals on. we're just hanging out we just did some toner foiling we just showed some awesome new toner sheets from crafty Krita. the first company to come out with colored toner sheets woo woo go crafty Krita. okay so chow's channel chow is um she's my asian sister chow's in california chow has a um very energetic six-year-old soon to be seven year old she does homeschooling with him her husband works from home and she has her mother and her brother with her as well so chow is a very busy mama her baby is soon to be six months old or just turned six months old right chow and um her videos are very quick and to the point so if you want quick to the point videos chow's videos like average under 10 minutes under 10 minutes you want to watch a quick video and you want to get your your quick crafting in that's who you want to watch for that okay um then we have stacy stacy is in arizona stacy also works from home she is the primary caretaker for her husband who's disabled so stacy also has a lot going on she has three dogs in the house that are deaf blind or combination or going blind. So she has her dogs and she is one half of SNR Creations with Renee. And Renee, I believe, is visiting Stacy this weekend. So maybe they'll pop on and do a live. Who knows? Um, but Stacy and Renee started their business, SNR Creations, with um, making handmade purses. So if you've ever seen the quilted purses, I guess kind of like a, a Vera Bradley bag. I don't have one of those, but um, that's what SNR Creation started. So they used to go to all of these shows and they made these bags, these purses, and sold them. So that's SNR Creations, which is Stacy and Renee. SNR Creations from the heart. Stacy's um, expertise is in using the scan and cut machine. So if you got a scan and cut or you have a scan and cut and you don't, you don't, um, you want to know more ways to use your scan and cut. Like I have a scan and cut thanks to my scan and cut angel, but I, I really just use it for basic functions. Good night, Terry. Um, I use it for cutting stencils, cutting out stamped images. I mean, you can, you can scan something like this and it will cut it out, cut around it for you. Um, so that's what the scan and cut does, but there's so much more things you can do with the scan and cut. So that's where Stacy comes in. She's kind of become our resident expert on the scan and cut. And then there's T. T is our artsy, eclectic, um, I would say true, 100% true artist is T. So T is the one that gets her fingers inky. She does junk journaling. She makes um, interactive cards, like cards that flip open, cards that open up, window cards and things like that. T is just, I'm always in awe when I watch T's videos. I, I can't go to sleep until I watch T's videos because she's so freeing. She's so artistic where she can get her hands dirty, inky, paint covered, and this masterpiece comes out of it every time mean, she makes her own paper i mean she's done so many cool things on her channel yes she is our mad scientist but her is she's a true artist in, in every sense of the word of a true artist so um so definitely check out t's channel as well we have a creative fabrica link and i think there's a little discount on there i'm not sure we'll have to have somebody post that for you um tracy has only been doing her card making the last three, four years now. Um, Tracy kind of fell into it by accident. Her family is very creative. Tracy likes to do painting. Like, um, you know, when you go to those acrylic painting classes, 
Um, and she was doing that with her mother and her sister. And her sister did pass away a number of years ago. And she had all of these supplies. And so Tracy and her mom kind of divvied it up. And her mom took like on the painting supplies and things like that. And Tracy took all the paper crafts. So Tracy said, okay, I have all of this stuff. And what am I supposed to do with it? What, and you know what, you guys, I really think this machine is dead because it's not heating up. We are like cold as ice here. I think tomorrow I'm gonna go have to go buy a new glimmer. <gasps> I blew it up. I'm gonna call Yana. Yana, I blew it up. I just unplugged it, plugged it back in again. So anyway, so Tracy and I, um, so Tracy, Tracy found me from watching YouTube videos. We were in a joint group together, which we no longer follow, ironically, and Tracy and I are both in Pennsylvania. I'm on the east coast of Pennsylvania near Philadelphia. She's on the west coast near Pittsburgh. Found out that we went to the same, uh, we both went to UPJ, so a lot of stuff that we had in common and she said hey I'm fairly new to this card making can you give me some ideas on some things that I could do and we just got a friendship bonded there we met we hung out we had dinner and that's where this started with uh, foiling snobs club and I'll get back to that in a second and then um so we have chow we have stacy we have tea and tracy's style is a little bit of everything Tracy is a very, um, she wants to do a little bit of everything. She's still learning, but she's really great with stencils. Um, she's really good with learning. Like she, she's a very good teacher and she teaches you the basics where I kind of go through very quickly and I'm like, yeah, you just take this, this, and this, and you add it all up and this is what you get. She really takes the time to explain it because she's still learning to make sure you guys understand it. She's very Patient is the word that I would use, but she likes to learn how to do pan pastels. She likes to do ink smushing. She loves her Catherine Buller inks. She loves to do stenciling, um, and she's part of quite a few design teams. She's also the Mod Squad creator um, for the Mod Squad Challenge, which is Kitchen Sinks Stamps. So um, she does a little bit of everything, and her style is just very... Oh, thank you, you guys, for the pay for, for the PayPal super chat there. Um, so they've all linked their channel. So yes, please follow all of them. And I um, I do a little bit of everything, but I don't do I do them in spurts. So right now is foiling season. Everybody got brand new foiling machines for the holidays for Christmas. So everybody wants to know how to make cards with foiling and so on. So right now we're trying to show everybody the basics of how you do toner foiling with a mink machine, how you do foiling with a glimmer or a foil press. If you have the go press and foil, um, the go press and foil is very similar to the glimmer machine. So I've done a lot of practice in foiling. I have done foiling for the last five years of foiling. I've had all the machines. I have purchased every foiling product out on the market. Um, and I know a lot of companies are jumping on the bandwagon right now, which is great. It's going to give you guys a lot more options and foiling machines and foiling dies. But the basic premise of how to do the foiling doesn't stop. So there's two types of foiling. There's toner foiling, which is using a laminator or a mink machine. And the foil sticks to some kind of printed design. And then there's hot foiling and hot foiling uses these hot foil machines and these dies to to um to press the foil in hot foil has a built-in adhesive in it so with that pressure with the die and your die cutting machine and the adhesive built into the foil it impresses that foil design onto your paper so two different systems so that's that seems to be my niche they've kind of joked around and called me the foiling empress and I wear that crown proudly. I have done a lot of foiling with a lot of different machines and every single kind of configuration. So if you have questions, I have two playlists with over 100 videos in each playlist. So over 200 videos just in foiling. So I don't know. Nancy needs to start a foiling company. No, I don't want to get into the retail end of it. Um, I got into YouTube videos because of my stepchildren wanting to be crafty. 
Um, that was many years ago. My little one was on her first YouTube video at two and a half years old. She's now nine and could care less. She does videos occasionally. Um, but it grew into this crafting community, which is you guys. And I don't, I don't want to get into the retail end of it because when you get into the retail side of it and listen, my job is retail. I've been in the car business for 20 years. You guys worked in dealerships for over 20 years. So that's my day job. Okay. I am in and out of car dealerships every day. So, uh, this is my hobby. This is my fun. And I want to be there for you guys. I want to be your 800 support line when it comes to foiling. I don't want to get into the retail side of it because, it, right, Melissa said it right, it becomes a job. Um, and then you always have, you have the negative people of the world, which we already, we already deal with on this channel. We already deal with enough of it um, that that just want to nag and pick and complain and look for a freebie. And I don't ever want to get it with that. So I'm your teacher. I'm here to be your friend. I'm here to help service you and helping you learn these things and learn about these companies. Yes. Can we get the link for Crafty Krita? So um, Crafty Krita sends me product to share with you guys. They give you guys a discount. The discount code is FSC05. And you get a 5% discount. And when it comes from Crafty Krita from Australia, it converts from Australian dollars to U.S. dollars. So it's a little bit cheaper when it converts. But you really do get really good quality from them. Their toner sheets are awesome. You guys just saw they're the first ones that come out with colored toner sheets. It's really cool. I think we have to call the Glimmer dead. It's It should be heating up by now. I have killed it. And I said before, this is one of the downsides of the Glimmer is you can't just buy a platform. Like once this is dead, you got to go buy a whole new machine. Um, I am on the Spellbinders design team, so I am going to ask. I will send a nice little email to Yana and see if there's anything she can do for me. Um, I don't expect anything. I did buy this machine a couple of years ago. I bought it by accident. I bought it because one of my friends said... I want to do hot foiling. I don't know what I should get or whatever. And I said, I'll tell you what. I'll go out and buy the Spellbinders Glimmer because I want to do an unboxing video. I want to show it. I want to compare it to the Gemini Foil Press. Gemini Foil Press is the one I do prefer because of ease of use with the Gemini Junior. However, I like this machine because it doesn't warp. This platform doesn't warp. So you see me using this all the time now. But now it's dead. <laughs> I've killed it. Um, otherwise, I'll go to my local. I have two Hobby Lobbies near me. So if I have to, I'll go to Hobby Lobby and buy one. And if I can't find one at Hobby Lobby, um, then I will have to order one from Spellbinders. I do get a small discount because I'm on their design team. Um, but if you see me putting up a Nancy needs a PayPal to buy a new Glimmer, we're going to need some donations. Because <laughs> it's going to be 100 bucks. So... You can donate to PayPal. <laughs> uh, blew it up, you guys. It's legit not heating up at all. It's cold. The red light is not turning green. We have killed it. So, And I'll have to get a new one and see if I killed the platform or if I killed the heating unit. It's one of the two is dead. If they would sell replacement platforms, that would be really cool. I just, I used it too much. So I guess I'll be doing foiling on the Gemini foil press. <laughs> Tracy put my PayPal link if you guys want to start donating. <laughs> yeah, they're right around $75. That's what I bought this for. And I ended up, like I said, I bought it for my friend and I ended up keeping it and had to go out and get her another one, so... Um, but it's, it's definitely out of warranty. It's a few years old. Um, but there, there are pros and cons to both hot foiling systems. Um, the Glimmer machine works with your Big Shot, your Sizzix machines, your Vagabond. Um, Abraham says it works with the new Switch. 
Um, so the Glimmer Machine, it all depends. Oh, it works with the new the Spellbinders Platinum Machine, which I have back there. So it works with your those die cutting machines because it's a much thicker platform. Um, the disadvantage is it is a little harder to pull this platform out of the machine. It's very tight in the machine, and you cannot buy you cannot buy replacement plates, and you cannot buy replacement platforms. This also really only works on high heat. It's one temperature. You can't change the temperature or the timing on it. So it works best with Spellbinders foil. It works best with Couture Creations Go Press and foil. And it works best with um, Blue Bonnet foil, which is on Facebook. You cannot use or should not use the Gemini foil with this system because the Gemini foil is at a lower heat. The advantage to the Gemini machine is the Gemini machine, you can change the heat temperature. You can go from low, medium, and hot. You can change the timer on that one, and it runs through your electronic machine like your Gemini Junior or your full-size Gemini. Um, however, if you use it on high or hot too long, the platform, it starts, starts to bow and warp. So there are advantages and disadvantages to both. It all depends on what kind of die cutting system you have. So you want to, you know, do your research there. I am lucky because I do have a backup machine. And I will tell you that um, Cra um, Crafter's Companion sent me that Gemini machine when they launched it. So I very was very humbled at the time for them to do that. Um, however, being Nancy, I broke a lot of rules. <laughs> And I use different dies in the machine. I use different foiling systems in the machine. I figured out how to put it through a big shot. And so they cut me off. They were like, no, no, we don't like your influencing people to buy other things. So to this day, I'm very appreciative of them. I understand why they did what they did. But at the same time, my, um, my primary goal of this channel is to educate you guys. I'm a single mom on a budget and I want to help you guys. So if you don't have to spend $300, um, you know, buying a die cutting machine and a foiling machine, I don't want you to. I want you to use what you have and spend your money wisely. So yeah. So, I mean, I could just say to you guys, oh, just go on Spellbinders and buy it. And then I get my affiliate commission. But I know Hobby Lobby has it for around. I know it's under $80 now. So, if you have a Hobby Lobby, go check that out first. <clears throat> I honestly think what happened here is, do you guys remember, like, two weeks ago or three weeks ago? Remember when my power went out? Was I using this or was I using the foil press? I forget which one I was using. Remember, my power went out and it pfft, sparked. <laughs> I don't remember if it was the Gemini or if it was this. I think it was my Gemini, though. Was it this? For some reason, I thought it was the Gemini because I remember saying if the plate blows up. I remember saying if the plate blows up, I'll just buy a new one because they were like $20. And then you bought me one for my birthday tea. Was it this one? I don't know. So if it was this one, I think it's probably just a fuse issue, but I'm not going to open it up. I mean, for what I do for you guys, if I got to go spend a hundred bucks, I'll spend a hundred bucks. I know you guys will appreciate it. I don't see a burn mark, so I don't remember which one it was. It doesn't smell fried. We'll have to go back and watch the video, but that night the power went poof in it. Whatever. Whatever it was. Where was it? The plug-in. I don't know. I don't really... I thought it was the Gemini one. But it worked fine last week. That whole video, I went an hour at something, you know, it was like an hour and 20, mi 20 minutes into it before it finally just stopped heating up thank goodness i had my glimmer videos all done and recorded although she doesn't say that i have to use glimmer machine on my glimmer video so maybe i'll use my foil press for you guys i don't know this is a few. i'm sure it's a fuse but i'm not going to change it 
Yeah, that three hour long. How long, how long have we been going now? We don't need to be on here that long. Oh, you guys. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. You guys are sending the PayPals in. Aww. You guys are the best. I love you guys. You guys are the best. All right, so we won't be doing any hot foiling tonight. Sorry. Um, I don't really have anything scheduled for this weekend. I do have a couple reports I need to do for work. But I was going to do... Um, I wanted to show you guys some... I wanted to make some cards out of the Stampin' Up! paper. I don't want to do it tonight. I don't want to keep you guys here all night. You know, you guys are like, she's going to go from foiling to card making? How boring. <laughs> but I really like how pretty this stamp set is. This is the Stampin' Up! Crane of Fortune. So I might do something with that this weekend for you guys with this pretty, pretty paper. And I just ordered... It's all stuck to itself. I just, I just pre-ordered... Oh my gosh, you guys, they have this beautiful ocean set. It's on pre-order, so I don't know when it's going to get here. But it's ocean paper, ocean stamps, foil card, and gems in there. And and a um uh, a die. A die. So we'll do that. We'll do that. So I'll probably play with these this weekend. Maybe I'll make some prototype cards for you guys. If you did not check out Catherine Pooler's site, the new stamps. Um, she started to reveal them, sneak peeks for you guys. Um, <laughs> they're not as cool as the Asian lanterns. I don't think anything's going to top the Asian lanterns, but they are still pretty freaking cool. Um, so those videos will be coming out next week for you guys. But if you guys have any ideas or anything that you have issues or problems or concerns or you just want to see something, let me know. I'll help you out. And if I can't help you out, one of those lovely ladies I told you to go follow Chow, Tracy, Stacy, and T, they'll be able to help you guys out. But join the Foiling Snobs Club. We're a very friendly, kind group. We are there to support each other and help each other out. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're 30 away. How many are we away from 24,000? Let's see. And then I'll shut up and go away. We are 27 away. Come on, there's got to be 27 people who are hiding in the background, watching from the shadows. Oh, foiling! Oh, you guys are donating to the PayPal. Thank you so much. We will send each one of you a thank you card, too. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I'm reading you guys is Nancy for three hours or drink for three hours or do both. Do both, Cheryl. I'll take a drink. Heck yeah. I did love the Asian lanterns. The Asian lanterns are really cool. Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Abraham's like, it's only 830. I thought it was like 11. I know. It. I'm like, do I want to stay? Do I want to go? Do I want to stay? Do I, I don't want to keep you guys on here for three hour lives. I think that's just... I don't know. <laughs> I, T, T, are you reminding me that I need to go color my hair? Yes, I do. Aw, <laughs> oh, thanks, Tammy. Okay, so D, everybody's saying that it must have been the glimmer I blew up. Three hour lives are the best, Danny says. Are you crazy? Carly wants to watch me make cards. <laughs> Abraham says I'm going to pour. You can't drink unless I say super cute. That's the game, right? It has to be super cute for me to say. Show a foiled birthday card. Stay in having a wonderful time. I guess like, oh, I wonder, is this dry enough that I can rub this ink off without messing it up? Hold on. See, I'm not fancy. I don't have the two camera thing going on. I might have to look into that for you guys. I really don't think you want to look at my face. You want to look at whatever I'm doing with my hands. That's more important. 
Okay, so I just took a little rag and wiped some of that ink off of here. So now we have foiling, focus, we have ink blending, we have stamping, and we have coloring. So all of the beautiful things you can do. Just trying to read your comments here. T, I don't agree with that statement, T. I think you are the most lovely person. Pythera says she's in Pacific Standard Time, so it's only dinner time. She's good for a while yet. Ah. Carly likes my... Oh, I got an idea, you guys. Want to hear my idea? We, we might do a GoFundMe for this one. So Leah and I were in the car today going to pick up my son, and I said, you know, did you text your brother that I'm on the way? And she's like, yeah, I told him we're coming to get him, right? So, you know, I my navigation or something, Google, Google kicked on or my navigation kicked on and was talking to me. And I was like, just be quiet. Like, nobody's talking to you right now, Google. You know how that happens, right? So I said, imagine if now if you are sensitive to women who have potty mouths, I'm going to apologize now because I'm very much one of those people, okay? My father was in the military for many, many years, and then he became a truck driver, and then he became a police officer. So it's like second nature to me with the potty mouth, and my kids all know it. I don't hide it. That's just how I am. I'm very good on camera, but in my real life, it's bad. So anyway, I said, oh, I'm glad you brought that up. Yes, that we're going to talk about. I'm going to turn the mink on. You rock. Okay, um, everything falls into the trash can. <gasps> anyway, I said to Leah, you know how you say like, hey Siri or Alexa or Google or whatever, and you get some pleasant sounding person that says, you know, what's the weather today? Today in Northampton, it will be 45 degrees with chances of shower. Okay, so she's all nice and polite and all this stuff. I said, I am going to invent the Nancy, okay? Here's what the Nancy is going to do for you when you download the Nancy app, okay? The Nancy app, for example, would tell my son, your mom is on the effing way. Turn the Xbox off, put some deodorant on, and get your ass downstairs, okay? That's what the Nancy would say to my son as I'm approaching his apartment. <laughs> the Nancy would tell you guys as you're ordering stuff on Amazon, you better hurry up and check out Melissa. Your husband's coming home and you better get dinner on the counter. <laughs> I would make it like real life stuff, right? Hey, Nancy. Yes, Jojo. Do I look fat in this dress? Jojo, you already know you look fat on the dress, but you want me to tell you you don't. Go change. That's what the Nancy would do. <laughs> That's another one. Me, Le me and Leah were coming up with all these things. Like she was asking me questions and I was answering her as the Nancy, right? Let me see here. Um... The Nancy, where is my Amazon package? <clears throat> I don't know where your effing Amazon package is. And even if you did get it, you probably shouldn't have bought it. And you don't remember what it is anyway. And you're just going to return it. <clears throat> Let's see. What else did we say? What was another one? And I was just like, lit, like just coming up with these in my head, laughing to myself because some of them I obviously could not say in front of a nine-year-old. But imagine like the Nancy, uh, let's see, just coming up at uh, out of nowhere. Like it, you have like a little alarm or something. You know how Alexa like lights up and then you say, you say to Alexa, uh, if somebody steals my idea, believe me, this Nancy's coming up. <laughs> You know how Alexa, like our Alexa lights up yellow and it says, um, 
I am going to do the clear foiling thing. That's what I'm, I'm plugging in the mink because we're going to talk about clear foils here. Um, going back to two. So you know how Alexa lights up yellow and you're supposed to say, hey, Alexa, what it is. And it says, it says, Alexa, it says you have a package on the way or you have a whatever, right? So I would have Alexa and it would be like, um, like blue and red, like light, like police lights, right? Boop, 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 boop. And then you would say the Nancy, why are you flashing red and light? Cause your wife's about to get home. You better get up and clean the house and take the trash out before she rips your head off. So that happens to us all the time, Carly, when I'm talking to the girls, because we have like Google phones and Alexa and stuff. And the other day we were on a call. I was upstairs doing my reports. I think Tracy was actually on her live. Oops. <laughs> Chow said she said WTF in front of Kyle's class today. Oops. And Sin was giving the live. <laughs> oh, I did say that one. Hold on. I'll tell you that one, Abraham. So anyway, me and me and Stacy were talking on the phone while Tracy was doing her live and I was watching listening but I was doing reports. And Stacy was basically like, "Get back to your reports." She was putting my ADHD in check. She was like, "Get back to your reports. Get back to your reports. Get back to your reports." And <laughs> so at some point, my Alexa was in the living room and it heard and it was it answered something and I was like, "Shut up. Ain't nobody talking to you, you nosy bitch." <laughs> So that's where this idea came from. So here's how directions would go, Abraham. Nancy, how do I get to my child's school? Will you go one block down the street over by the McDonald's? You make a right on the corner where that hoe be standing, and then you go two blocks to the left. You know where that girl with the bad hair is, and then you go down two blocks and make a right, and you'll be at the school. Make sure you don't park behind Karen and her black Mercedes because she will tell you to move. Anyway, I'm bad. So if you guys don't know how that works, I'm going to give you a little insider information here. Whenever you sign your cell phone agreement, whenever you watch things on YouTube, um, your new cars, all of your brand new cars, they are listening. They're watching where you drive your car. They're listening to what you say. Everything that has a camera is recording and there's nothing you can do about it. You have agreed to all of that in the fine print of every contract you have ever signed. As soon as you take delivery of the car, as soon as you take your cell phone and use it, as soon as you plug Alexa and your Wi-Fi in, there's nothing you can do about it. Everything is being recorded. It is being monitored. Um, you know, it's being monitored by electronics. It's not a human listening to you. It's AI, okay? And what this artificial intelligence is doing is listening for keywords. So, if you said... I'm thinking about buying a car. I think I should get a car. I really am thinking about I need a new car. Have you seen the new whatever? You'll start seeing ads come up on your TV. You'll start seeing things come up on your phone when you are um, searching for things. They'll start popping up on your Facebook ads. They'll start popping up on your YouTube. Um, you know, all of the, what's the other stuff we watch? Netflix, um, Facebook, Instagram. It will continue to bombard you. Those companies spend millions and millions of dollars to get this information about you. Your household has a footprint, an advertising footprint. And that advertising footprint says, what kind of sports do you like? What kind of groceries do you buy? What kind of stuff do you order off of Amazon? What kind of shows do you watch? Where do you go? Because it tracks your GPS in your car. So all of this information is being sent to this AI and the AI is telling them everything about you. And then all of a sudden, the next thing you know, you got car ads, you got uh, cheeseburgers popping up on your GPS. Here's a perfect example. I didn't, um, 
I didn't, uh, I didn't really, like, I liked Starbucks occasionally before, but it was in the last year that somebody got me turned on to a mango dragon fruit lemonade. One of you guys, I don't remember who it was, mango dragon fruit lemonade. I have one, I'm going to say every other day, if not every day, every other day. Now, whenever I go somewhere, if I am passing us, getting near a Starbucks or passing a Starbucks, two things happen. One, I kind of get like a little reminder on my phone that says, you have Starbucks uh, points or you have a Starbucks coupon or whatever. Starbucks is pinging my phone somehow. The other thing is it will pop up on my GPS. It will literally say, like, here's a little Starbucks sign. My son, my son just started to, um, what's the cheeseburger place we said we went to? Shake Shack, okay? We've gone to Shake Shack twice. Okay, we had to download the app because the only way you can order Shake Shack is to download the app. And we've only gone there twice. It came up on my GPS today when I picked my son up as soon as we were driving by. Boom, GPS shows Shake Shack. So that my son looks at it and goes, oh, can I have Shake Shack today? I'm like, no, you can't have Shake Shack today. These company pays, they pay millions of dollars to get this information about you and put it all back into advertising and targeting you. So there's nothing you can do about it. It's not like you... Oh my God, how did they know I was looking for a new car? You know, um, it just happens. One of my friends and I were talking about compression socks a few days ago. She knows who she is. I got three ads for compression socks this week. I sent them all to her. I'm like, here you go. These are on sale. Here you go. Here's some pretty ones, blah, blah, blah. So there's nothing you can do. What you say, what you do, where you drive, you cannot get away with anything. So why do you think, like, all these people think they can get away with murder? No. No. You're not going to get away with it. They have heard everything. They have seen everything. They can track you. They can find you. Unless you are driving some 1970 hoopty and you don't have a cell phone and you don't have a debit card, that's the only way you're, you got to pay cash for everything, you, you're going to get caught. So, yes. Yep, data scientists, artificial intelligence. They don't need a person to sit there and listen to you. They, they, the computer does it and filters everything out, says, this person likes to do Grubhub. Let's send them coupons for Grubhub. Boom, boom, boom. It's all automatic. They just write the programming for it. Yep. I don't care either. I figure. <laughs> Tracy said, that's me. I needed the compression socks. You want the Nancy to come back? The Nancy. How do I shut off the spyware? Drown yourself. <laughs> okay, bye, Tracy. All right, so I've turned my mink back on. So there are two types of clear foil. I'm, I'm going to try not to print anything here. It goes back to if you don't want anybody knowing what you're saying or what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it. Karen says my son writes those programs. Karen, your son's probably making some big bank. Does he need a girlfriend? Just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'm going to start with what we've been playing with, which is the uh, Crafty Critter. This is the clear. Let me put you guys hands down. How do I do that? If I break my iPad, I'm really going to cry that day. Here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go. So there's two types of foiling. I don't want anybody complaining this is a three-hour live. You guys did it. I was ready to go upstairs, grab a bowl of ice cream or something. So let me grab some of these extra. This is where these colored toner sheets are going to be really cool, too. Because, say, we don't really... Let's just use this big one here. Say we just remember how I said before, it's just really cool as colored cardstock. I always say foil first, die cut second. I always say mark your foil. I don't know where the piece, where's that piece I used the other day? Oh boy, here it is. We're just going to reuse that piece. See, that's an advantage to using the Crafty Critter clear foil. And I'm going to use the other clear foil, too. Don't worry.
So remember, I marked it with a B. B, 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 B. Here it is. See, so we know B goes on the top. This B goes under here. Watch this. We're gonna get this to transfer on to here. We don't really need to dust this because it's clear. <laughs> well, Abraham, you gotta go on and order it. And then we're gonna grab, let's grab a die. B helps us know which is the top and which is the bottom, right? So I know when I put it on backwards. See, we wanna make sure that the B is facing us. Because if it's the other way, then that B is backwards. We don't want it backwards. Okay, so now, remember I've already used this foil once, the clear foil. Shazam, look at it on that colored toner card. Ooh, that is so fun. Now this is completely foiled. We can't foil this again. It's got that protective layer. But the Crafty Crita Secret Foil, I don't know what they use. I can use this, look it. We did one. Let me show you how magical this stuff is because I don't know how else to explain it other than it's magical. Okay, we're gonna use it again. I've already used it once. Now I've used it twice. We wanna make sure our B is not backwards. Where'd my B go? Yo, B, where'd you go, B? Here we go. I'm telling you, they, they're just so innovative. Who else would have thought of coming out with colored toner sheets? Okay. Bets on if this uh, foils again. And while that's going through there, I'm gonna, I'm gonna butterfly die cut this one. No, I want a hello, I want, I want a word die. I want a word die, word die. Now you can't do this with regular foil. You can only do it with Crafty Krita Clear Foil. Only Crafty Krita Clear Foil. You cannot do this with other clear foils. Only Crafty Krita Clear Foil. And it's toner foil, not hot foil. Where are my cutting plates? First plates. Die cutting down onto the paper, onto the clear plate. The magnetic shim and the milky shim go on top of that. And then my clear plate goes on top of that.
And this is from Catherine Poor. Okay, so you can't do this on regular cardstock. You can only do it on colored toner cardstock. But now we have a holographic clear foiled. Hello. That's not going to come off. Isn't that freaking cool? That's awesome. Okay, so now we have these two. We've already used this clear foil twice. This is the third time it's being used. Now I find like around four or five times is as many uses I can get because then it starts to break up. But oh, that's pretty neat. Can I die cut from that? Uh, it should fit. It'll barely fit. And then here's the pink. Now my foil did wrinkle a little bit there, so it didn't fully transfer there where it wrinkled, but the rest of it looks cool. And I can foil another couple times with that clear piece of foil. But there's another foil that I wanted to explain to you guys, which is, and I'm going to save this, and I still have my little bee in the corner there. Um, which is the Blue Bonnet Clear Foil. So Blue Bonnet has really, really cool foils. And I'll be honest, I don't show these enough, you guys, because you have to use a particular type of paper for these to transfer over. And I am going to raise my heat to three when I'm using these. Um, these work best if you are using a coated paper. So like a photo paper, glossy paper. Um, that's what they're going to work best on. It will foil the whole sheet for you, but it needs to be a full sheet. It will work on these toner pages. So let me just show you that. So another advantage to having these toner pages is because it's toner, everything will stick to it. Now, same thing, I would mark this um, just so you know you're putting it the right side down. But this is a one-time use. This is not a multiple-use clear foil. Okay, so because this is a toner sheet, this is a colored toner sheet, it will foil on it. But if you wanted to foil non-toner sheets, it needs to be some kind of a glossy, some kind of a cardstock that has a sheen to it for it to stick to it. So let me try, let's try this. This is Nina Solar White. I don't think it's going to stick to that. And then here, let's try this. This is gold foiled. I wanted to print out some like... Um, foil, like... Um, Photographs, I want to print out some photographs and then foil over them. Okay, so because this is a toner sheet, this is going to stick perfectly. This is what you want. So when you pull this off, and this is a one-time use only, so this now goes in the trash. This has been all exposed. So that's not like the Crafty Crito one, the, the blue bonnet ones, but look at that, how cool that is. Because this is a toner sheet, you can foil any, any kind of foil on toner sheets is what I'm trying to say. Even the ones that want to stick to your hand and not go in the trash can. Get off of me. Okay, here we go. So now you're saying to the Nancy, do I really need that? No, you don't need it, but that's cool, and you know you want it. <laughs> All right, so let me show you what it's going to do. This is plain. This is Nina Solar White. I remember doing this hot foil. Hey, that's what killed my glimmer. The Crafty Krita is um, craft foil. 
So it is not, some of them are textile foils, but they are craft foils. The clear foil, I don't know what kind of magical concoction that is. I cannot answer that. It's nothing I've ever seen before. Now, this is a hot foil, so it ideally should stick to everything. It is going to vary on the type of paper you're using and the type of heat. This is thicker cardstock. I think this is 80 or 100 pound. I might be better off going to a higher heat level with this, but let's try it on three and see how it does. Wouldn't that be magnificent? We're gonna foil on the foil. So this is the white, and then I'm gonna foil on the gold. I'm gonna assume it's gonna do better on this gold, because again, the gold is something for it to adhere to versus plain paper. But we will do our experiments here. Are you using the Craft First machine for die cutting or just their plates? I, I put their, honestly, I put their machine back in the box because I have a Gemini Junior that I use for my foil press, but I have kept their machine as my backup machine um, because there's really no reason for me to have two machines plugged in. I've been using their plates without fault. I love their plates, but the machine, honestly, it works fine. I've kept it as my backup because I do do foiling with the Gemini foil press, so that's why I've kept that out. We are using Blue Bonnet Transparent Hot Foil. Blue Bonnet, you can buy from Blue Bonnet Foil RGV. They are on Facebook only. And you want their transparent hot foil, hot stamping. Okay, so this has definitely stuck to my folder. You can see my folder's nice and pretty. It will come off with alcohol. We want to see how much of this is going to stick to Nina. Okay, so it's not full coverage. I'm going to roll this through one more time. I'm going to raise the heat up to four. And we're going to foil it again. And that's because this is a very porous paper. This is not, there's dust in there. This is not a super smooth, glossy paper. I need to find a super smooth, glossy paper example here. And I'm going to try to foil on this gold cardstock. Okay, I just changed the heat to four. If you're using a laminator, you need to go to five, and you need to leave it on for at least a half an hour. And then I'm going to say, Abraham, you just went and bought that switch, and you're not using your mink. Don't you have a mink? Where's your mink? I thought you had a mink. Don't make me come down there. Abraham, I thought he had a mink. The clear is hot foil. The clear from Crafty Critta is toner. The clear from Blue Bonnet, what I'm using now, this is hot foil. That's why it sticks to everything, this is hot foil. Now, if you cut this and you can't remember which side is up and which side is down, I cannot help you with that. There is no way of telling. Okay, so because this is already foiled, I'm going to see if this will stick to that. Because the slicker your surface, the better this does. The crafty, the blue bonnet, this is hot foil. I'm on mink level four, level four. Minky mink level four, mini mink. 
I'm using a mink because I want the whole thing to hot foil. I want this clear foil on my whole cardstock, which is why I'm using the mink. So I want this whole thing to be clear foiled. Okay, so see these little wrinkles? This is why you need a smooth cardstock. Does this look cool? It looks really cool. Is it completely foiled? No, it is not completely foiled. So watch. When I put it in the light, can you see the wrinkles? See that? Do you see the wrinkles? Okay, so this is not 100% foiled. It still looks cool. I'm still going to use it. This is ha uh, Nina Solar White. This is a very flat, porous matte paper. This is not a Hamilco or a Hammer Mill paper. Now this one, because this is a smooth, already foiled surface, I think we will have better results here. Okay, so the smoother your paper, the better it is. Oh yeah, that's what we're looking for, folks. That's what we want. Clear and bam. Look at that. Look, that's double foiled. Yes, so glossy paper, photo paper is what I would recommend. You can use it on the glimmer. Um, you can use it as a regular hot foil. No, the Crafty Krita foil will only stick if there is a toner underneath it. There's, okay, so hot foil, this, this foil that I'm using here, this hot foil, this has adhesive built into it. So as soon as you stick this to heat, it's going to stick. It doesn't need any design or any printout, okay? The Crafty Krita foil that I use, this is a toner foil. This needs something to adhere to. So what I just showed you guys are their brand new release of toner sheets. That's why it's stuck to these because these are toner sheets. But if I tried to use this Crafty Krita foil on regular paper, you won't get any results. It won't stick. So the Crafty Krita foil is a toner foil. It needs it needs something to adhere to. Okay. The um The blue bonnet foil is a hot foil. It has an adhesive built into it, so it'll stick to anything it touches as long as it has heat. How well it sticks depends on the surface you're sticking it to. So because I wanted to show you, when you're using a flat matte pore surface, like this is Nina cardstock, it doesn't have any kind of gloss on it, um, you can see the wrinkles in the foil where the foil did not adhere. Okay, it's not completely foiled. Okay. Yes, hot foils can be used with dyes and pressed in. Here, I used a foiled sheet, and because this was already glossy, it stuck to the whole thing. That's what you want. So you want to use a photo paper or a coated paper for this clear foil to stick. Okay. So can you use it in a hot foiling machine? Absolutely. Do you want me to demo it in the foil press? Because I can't demo it in the glimmer. It's dead. If you're just joining my 16-hour live, congratulations. Uh, my glimmer died. And many of you have sent me a PayPal donation to help me go buy a new one. <laughs> so I'm very thankful and grateful for that. But look at how cool this is. It's a very simple card now. I have a really cool background. I can just put a very simple sentiment on there. And wham, bam, that's a lot of holographic foil in your face. <laughs> really cool, right? Let me grab... Um, so do you understand using this with a mink? Any hot foil can be put through a mink. Any hot foil can be put through a mink. If you take hot foil and put it through a mink, it will stick to everything. Okay? But if you want to have a nice tone-on-tone -tone look, if you want this just to do the impressions of uh, your dyes, I, I don't have a problem getting my foil press out. 
she has it under her hot foil. It's called transparent foil, and she shows all the different designs. And this one's like a smaller kind of shattered pieces. This one's a larger shattered piece. I know she has some that are like stars and flowers. Um, this one is little specks. Almost like um, magical fairy dust. Okay. You can hot foil in a mink if you're going to foil your whole paper. Let me be very clear about that. You cannot put your dies in there. If you put your dies in here, you'll break your machine. If you want your whole paper to be foiled like this, this was plain paper and I put green foil on it. If you want this, you can put hot foil in your mink. You put your paper in your foil and this is what you get. Okay. But what you cannot do is you cannot put your hot foiling plates in the mink. And if you're just le learning foil, I'm going to say that's hot foiling advanced 210 class. And I don't want to confuse anybody. I'm going to ask you to keep your foiling machines and your foils separated until you understand the difference between the two machines. Because all you're going to do is aggravate yourself when you overfoil everything. Okay, so if I wanted to take these little, this one, because this has already been foiled, and now I want to hot, just remember, hot foil has glue all over it, has adhesive all over it. As soon as I put this to heat, the whole thing will stick. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Funny, Abraham. <laughs> I know you probably jumped too. <laughs> yep, you should write it down. If you're if you're taking notes, it's a good idea. I do have a three-hour video which breaks down, <laughs> ironically. The first hour and a half is toner foiling. The last hour and a half is hot foiling. And the title is, Don't Start Foiling Until You Watch This Video. So if you are brand new to foiling, go watch that. That's your first class. Don't Start Foiling Until You Watch This Video is the name of it. And it is three hours long, and you should watch it in 20-minute increments. Melissa said she's watched the video twice now. So the Blue Bonnet Clear Foil, the way I recommend using it is exactly what I'm doing here, is to do a whole sheet. I don't, I mean, I'll show you how to do it with hot foil. I'll grab the Gemini out in a second here because we're pretty much done with the mink, right? And this is why Nancy has three mink machines because she blows up foiling machines. All right, so here we go. And you can see, here, look at the difference just between this piece of paper. So where it's foiled, it's all shiny, glimmery, right? Up top here where it's not foiled, it is not stuck down all the way. Oh, come on camera. Okay, can you guys, I'm trying to get the light on there so you can see it. It's very spotty. Okay. So this clear foil, um, it is a hot foil, has adhesive, but it, it likes to stick to something that's already glossy. So you need to have a good base coat before you stick your foil on this, basically. Okay, but we got some cool looks out of it. All right, so let me grab the Gemini foil press. Let me show you how to do this with the Pink Fresh Studio plates. I just ordered the diamond one, so I'm excited to have that one come. You're going to get a tone on tone effect, which is cool. You guys are making me get all the toys out today. Baby Joy's got to go back in the closet. Mini Mink, Glimmer, Hot Foils, Cold Foils, Toner Foils, Everybody's Foils. Uh, 
black folding machines. If I blow this up, you guys, I'm going to be really mad. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start with medium heat. Oh, yeah, be quiet. Start up. Okay, so that's just to hold your hot foil plate. So we're going to let that warm up. It's on medium. Grab my new goodies. My goodies. My goodies. Okay. Uh, I'm going to cut down some hammer mill just for you guys. I just turned around and saw peeps. I bought a pack of peeps. I know you, some of you guys hate peeps, but I like peeps. And I'm like, oh, I could have those peeps right now. But then I was thinking peeps and foiling, probably not a good idea. So I will hold off on the peeps. Okay, so this is Hammer Mill. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? No, I'm not going to. I'm only going to do a couple with Hammer Mill. I am going to get that uh, that uh, Glimmer glimmer specialty paper because that's going to work amazing hold on that's what we want I just cut that other paper all to the wrong size too I love peaks good night Suzette hey if you guys gotta go go I, don't, I mean I see like 20, 20 people fell off already see like shoot we ain't hanging around for no three hour live with this girl you crazy okay there's my cardstock that's hammer mill but i want to use the glimmer paper the glimmer paper This, this should work amazing. Because this is basically Yupo paper. You know what I noticed? They have this now in a cheaper 10 pack. You don't have to buy 25 sheets. And I think it's on sale this week as part of their um, card crafting sale. T, I think it's just me and you. They left us tea. <laughs> yes, I have a Yorkie poo. So this is that glimmer paper and this is the hammer mill and this is warming up very quickly and I'm going to use, somebody asked about the opal. I don't know if I have opal. Hold please. Um, let me check the drawer of foil. Venus is hanging out all night. 
I don't have any of their white foil. I only have mink white foil. And I don't like the white foil. So I don't know. Good night, Michelle. I don't, I haven't purchased the blue bonnet white foil yet. Okay. Woo! Our machine is hot. Um, just so you guys can see, I'm going to use this. I think this is my thickest design, right? Pattern. I'm, I'm waiting for the diamond plate to arrive. So I'm going to use this one. Let me, this is the Pink Fresh Studios Chevron. You can get this off of uh, my scrapbook.com link or my Amazon link. Um, just remember when I unplug this, I'm putting it into my Gemini Junior. All I do is unplug it and put it in my Gemini Junior. I normally don't have to shim with this. Um, and these plates seem to be a little thicker. And this is my, my new warpy plate. That's okay. We should be okay. Okay, so I like to try to line up on the lines here so I can semi be straight. And... I'll start with the glimmer. Glimmer foil actually works on a higher heat, so we'll work our way up to high. I'll start with the blue bonnet. And we'll start with a, we'll do a piece of hammer mill and we'll do a piece of um, that glimmer specialty paper. There's a stamp that goes with this, Abraham. I know have a that. Why you no tell me that? Amazon, order me the stamp. Um, I ordered the diamond plate and the diamond stamp, so I'm just waiting for those to come in. Yvonne is still hanging out. Um, Blue Bonnet has white tone of foil now. Okay, I believe I have cut this the right way. We will soon find out. Feels sticky. Okay. Uh, this is the Glimmer stock, which is plastic. That's the easiest way to put it to you guys. Plastic. Going to put my plate down. I'm going to do 30 seconds on medium. I should have put my B on there. Remember to put the B because when we want to foil the negative. Yeah, they are very statically. They're very thin. There's really not, I mean, it's clear foil. So there actually isn't a foil piece to stick to the release sheet. So that's why it's staticky because it's super thin. And now this just goes to the Gemini Junior. Now before I reveal this, Because I want to foil this again on the solid hot foil sheet. Okay, so this is medium, 30 seconds. This is that Glimmer Yupo plastic paper stock. Okay. Oh, that is pretty. That came out stunning. Because this is a coated card stock. Oh my gosh, that looks amazing. How elegant. And of course, you can use colored cardstock. You don't have to use white. I was simply testing this foil sticking to plastic versus, uh, you know, regular paper. That looks cool. Now, I can ink blend over this because this is that alcohol Upo paper. I can do all kinds of fun things with this, but I like this tone on tone. That looks great. Okay, so let's do it. Uh, we'll save this. I wrote my B on it, so I know which way is up. I'm going to grab another one. 
Now I'm going to use the same plate, but I'm going to go in with the hammer mill 100 pound, which I don't like demonstrating when you guys can't get it. And again, it is not the be all holy savior of hot foil. Hot foil sticks to everything, you guys. So, you know, I don't want you guys to think you can only use that paper. That's that's not true at all. something. Nope, never mind. All right, I'm going to mark this one to be. Okay. So this is the smaller crackle, and I'm going to use the hammer mill paper on this. Well, you can use it on the toner sheets. Um, once I'm done foiling this, I can take the um, the waste foil. I can use this on the toner sheets now. I absolutely can. Those toner sheets will accept any kind of foiling in the mink. You can. You can't use the, the plate. You can't use the hot foil plate. If you're using a laminator, Abraham, just use a folded piece of copy paper. You don't want to use acetate. You use a folded piece of copy paper or parchment paper in your laminator. Otherwise, it's not going to get hot enough for you. Okay, so this is now on the hammer mill, 100 pound. So Amazon in the U.S. does not have the 100-pound hammer mill. Okay, let me mark this. I'll, I'll use these on the toner sheets for you guys if that's the way you want to see them used. Absolutely, I can do that. Where did I put my pen? Oh. Ready. Okay, that foiled beautifully as well. So medium, 30 seconds, works really well with the Blue Bonnet Clear Transparent Foil on both papers. It's fantastic. Okay, now I'm going to use the Glimmer Opal Foil, which will have the same effect. The Glimmer Opal Foil is also a clear foil. Um, it's just plain. So we're going to have the same effect with this foil. It's tone on tone. There's no color to this foil. Now I do have a sticker on mine, so hopefully that doesn't affect the transfer too much. And I cut my corner a little short, so uh, we're going to have to do the best we can do with that. I'm going to use the Glimmer Specialty Card Stock for that. Sue, so is it Hammer Mill Color? Cop premium color copy 100 pound with the chameleon eight and a half by 11 one ream they have 80 pound but there is no 100 pound has to be the one with the chameleon on it So Elizabeth asks, can you use copy paper in a mink instead of their transfer chute? Absolutely you can. Yep. 
Jennifer says she emailed me the link. Hold on. Hammer Mill Premium Color Copy. So that's 11 by 17, and it says 32 pound. So that's what I would be concerned about is their picture shows 100 pounds. It says 8.5 by 11 for 24.06 for one pack. Their picture shows 100 pound, but the, the wording says 32 pound. Did anybody order that one? Do I need to order it? Should I order it? T, have you ever been to an unclaimed baggage company? My girlfriend is heading to Florida and she stopped there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so this is Spellbinders Glimmer Opal, which is also a clear. Oh. I'll write my letter B on there because we're gonna none of this is gonna go to waste. We're gonna use all of this foil as soon as I can get my letter B. B B B B B means backwards. Jennifer did and she did get the hundred pound. Okay, Jennifer. So then you found us a secret. Good night, Carly. And this worked beautiful as well. Oh, I got a little bubble here. Shh. And there's the sticker. I knew that was going to happen, though. That still looks pretty. Pretty. So there's a couple of ways you can use this leftover foil now, okay? Or the foiling waste or the, the opposite. So the first way is if you get the Pink Fresh Studios plates, 20 bucks. Okay, it's a solid plate. You're going to let that heat up for a while. And then you're going to take your um, foil. And we want to know that it is this way. We want the B facing down because this is the sticky side. Okay. And then we're going to take our cardstock. And for this particular method, I am going to add a shim. Because we want overfoiling. We want this bad boy to stick as much as it's going to stick. Oh, T's going to go see a man about a horse. I'm jealous. Mine didn't come out like it's supposed to. So, Abraham, I told you, use your mink. So you guys are buying the bigger pack. Okay, as long as it's a 100-pound hammer mill, it'll work. Yeah. You got to cut it down, though, right? That's legal size. I'm too lazy to do that. Right, T? White flower dies. Yes. Okay, here we go. Let's print. Let's do this. Sue, let me go magically make one of you. <laughs> Description is not correct, but if you pick eight and a half by 11, it's 2406. All right, if you guys are saying that, I mean, I guess I could order it, and if it's wrong, I could return it. Hi, Terry. Terry's up in Canada with her lovely, her little doggy, Marco. Okay, so this is foiling the waste, and I'm going to, I did it on here, but I want to show you, I'm going to use the Crafty Krita um, toner sheets as well, okay? So here we go. Ooh, it didn't stick. That means not enough heat, not enough pressure. This is the Spellbinders um, foil. I'm going to crank this up to high. We're going to go 30 seconds on high. Spellbinders foil works best on the highest setting. 30 seconds. You really don't need to go more than 30 seconds. And I'm going to add two shims. Where's my other shim? As you can see, clearly Nancy's been doing foiling. 
Okay, so we're gonna do 30 seconds on high and we're gonna do that again. It's cold and snowing here. Mm -hmm. So let me give you guys the link these guys are saying to use. If you do one pack, 250 sheets, eight and a half by 11, the description says 32 pounds, but the picture is 100 pounds. So here we go. Here's the link for you guys. That'll go right to my Amazon store. I hear a doggy. Hi, doggy. Do you need to go out? I'm almost done. He's like, man, lady, you're doing three-hour lives. Do you need to go potty? You want me to take you out? Okay, you have to wait. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Can you wait a minute? Or you got to go right now? You gotta go right now. You're gonna have to wait. Okay, let's see if this worked any better. So we're trying to foil the waste of Glimmer Opal Polish. This is the waste. I already did the original, which came out beautifully. This is the waste. And I used the solid plate. I cranked my heat up to high, 30 seconds, and I used two paper shims, and that worked beautifully. I know it's hard for you guys to see, but that worked pretty dang good. All right. And there was a circle sticker down here, and this was a little boo-boo um, in the foil that transferred from the other one. But like T said, put some flowers on it. Okay, so that's one way of foiling the waste. Now, if you wanted to use those new toner sheets, and foil the waste that way. These are very staticky. We gotta go back to the mink machine. I can only have one plugged in at a time because Nancy doesn't like to blow up herself. This is the issue I have with this machine. Okay, I've only been using it on medium and high. I foiled four things. Look at that warping. Do you guys see that? Look at that curve. Okay, that's why I have a problem with this machine and using any other foil other than Gemini foil. So that's why I prefer my Glimmer um, because the majority of the foils that I have are Glimmer foils or Blue Bonnet foils. So now I put this underneath my Gemini Junior and it will flatten out. It'll go back to flat, but it just bothers me that it does that. Do you want to go potty? Huh? All right, hold on, guys. I'll let him out down here. Hold on. All right, my patio is covered in ice, but he's out there. All right, let me switch to the mink. I'm going back to the mink. So many people are going to be so confused when they come to watch this on the replay. I'm like, Nance, what, what were you doing? Make up your mind. I do what the people ask me to do. We got this out of the glimmer, we got this out of the glimmer, and this was blue bonnet, and this was blue bonnet. So now we have these two waste foils, 
And we're going to use those on the brand new Crafty Critter toner sheets. And what were the two colors we didn't use? We didn't use the maroon and the green, right? Look at that's all ready to go. So we didn't use this one and we didn't use this one. So we'll use those two. If you go back to earlier in the video when the replay comes up, I used all of these brand new colored toner sheets just out by Crafty Krita. I don't know of any other company that offers them. These are the rich multi-toner sheets, or I call them the jewel tones. And then we have some brights, and I'll show you guys those in a second. So I'm going to cut these down. Again. And what size are my sheets here? Four and a quarter, I think. And we're going to go four and a quarter. So the other ones I did four inches. These are eight inches across. So these are color toner sheets. These are printed off of a laser printer, an industrial laser printer. You could make these at home by printing them on your laser printer, but they're probably not going to look this good, to be honest with you. Okay, so now we want to find the letter B and make sure it's not backwards. He must be doing number two. He has not come to the door yet. Okay, I'm going to try to line this up to be in the center as best as I can and straight. So these are toner sheets. So even though this is hot foil, it will stick to the toner sheet. Toner sheets, everything will stick to a toner sheet. Everything will stick to hot foil. So you can change your paper out if you wanted to, or you could change your foil out. Both of these are universal. Put that in there. And I don't worry about dusting these because they're clear. So it's not going to matter if there's dust there or not. Okay, he just came barging in the door. Okay, dog's happy. Anybody else let their dog out while I was doing that? So if you're going to use a laminator, you don't want to use these sheets. They're too thick. The mink gets really hot, which is what they're made for. So you don't want to use these. If you're going to use a laminator, just take a regular piece of copy paper and fold it in half. 
Now see this little wrinkle? That's gonna show up. That's gonna be a little boo-boo on our card, but this one's perfect. Let's do the messed up one first. So anytime you have a wrinkle in your foil, unfortunately that's gonna transfer over and there's nothing you can do, but oh my gosh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, you guys want the ASMR? Ta-da, and now this is completely spent. It's used, so this now becomes trash. And so you can see how the hot foil sticks to the toner and the toner sticks to the hot foil, but these don't have to be used together. They can be used on regular paper or um, the hot foil will stick to anything. You could have used just regular paper to stick this on, but these colored toner sheets, they make sure none of your foil goes to waste. Okay, and here is the green one. And I only used setting three on my mink for these. And you can see how beautiful that is. Now, ideally, I can go back in and foil this. And everywhere there's a solid line, the foil will stick to it again. We can do double foiling. I don't want to go through all of that today. But you could do that if you wanted to. Yep. So I'll show you guys where we started this journey today. We had a lot of fun. I'll show you everything that we did here today. So we started our journey with Crafty Krita sent me a giant box of all of these different kinds of colored toner sheets. Okay. Now, the colored toner sheets come in um, single packs of eight or multiple colored packs. So the single pack. look the same so you can get um, the fuchsia, the yellow, the green, the uh, blue. There's eight to a pack and they come in two types of tones. So we have these rich jewel tones, which you're, you can also buy these multicolor packs. So you can buy either eight sheets of maroon, purple, navy, or green. Or you can buy a multicolor sheet, which is going to give you all, two sheets of each color. So that's that. And then we have the brights. So there are eight colors of new toner sheets. You can buy them individual colors and you'll get eight sheets. Or you can buy these packs. And the packs, this one's going to have teal, lime, fuchsia, and yellow. So you get those four colors. And so what we did is we went through and experimented with these with regular toner foiling. And the toner foiling I did was using the mink machine on setting two. And on setting two, we made all of this fun stuff. We did, where is everything? Just thrown on the desk over here. Okay, so we used some other foil sheets that I had, other leftover sheets, and we did these pink hearts. Okay, um, here we did the pink on purple. So this is holographic pink foil from Crafty Krita, and we did this on the purple toner sheets. Then we did some happy birthday sentiments, and we double foiled them, meaning we used the waste foil on color card. So here you can see how the original happy birthdays came out. And then here you can see the opposite on the colored card. So this is how it originally foiled. This is the waste foil on purple toner card. Here's how it originally foiled. Here is the waste foil on blue toner card. I don't know where those two guys went. Then I did some sunglasses and the same kind of idea with the sunglasses. Here is, um, this is how the sunglasses originally foiled. Really cool. Then I put this one on that same pink toner card. Here is how the sunglasses originally foiled. And then I put them on yellow toner card. So I just used the waste foil. Instead of throwing it away, I put it on these colored toner cards. 
Generally, toner paper is only black. You only see it in black here in the United States. No one has made a colored toner card on the market for foiling until now. Then I took some clear Crafty Critta foil. So Crafty Critta has this really cool clear foil and I put that on this toner card. So here it is on the purple toner card and I hot foiled the purple hello. So we have this really cool clear foil on there. I reused that same piece and did it on the pink and the yellow. And then I talked about some blue bonnet hot foil and we kind of went down this rabbit hole of clear foil and how to use clear foil. And generally clear foil likes to stick to, you're going to get the best results when you have some kind of coating on your paper. So this is plain Nina paper. It does not have a coating on it and you can see the skips the wrinkles of the clear foil there. It looks great from here, but um, up close you can see all the skips in the foil where you don't have those skips on this foil. This is 100% perfectly foiled with that holographic clear foil. And then I did hot foiling with the clear, with the blue bonnet clear foil. And with the blue bonnet clear foil and the mink foil, we got really cool hot foil effects with the Pink Fresh Studios hot foil plates. And we have Glimmer Opal Foil, which also foiled very well. And then I took those waste sheets and put them back on the toner sheets. So this is more advanced foiling when you start to cross your foils over. But once you understand how your foils work and what they do and what kind of papers they work with, you can get into mixing and matching some of your foils and some of your substrates, your mediums that you're using to, to get the best result and to maximize your money and your dollar for each of those. So um, we had a lot of fun, I think. Any questions before we sign off, you guys? As always, the website is craftycritta.com. Okay, craftycritta.com. They have foil art. They have these wonderful new toner sheets. They have wonderful, beautiful toner foils. They do not sell hot foils. It's only toner foils. Um... They have storage solutions. So I was going to put that thing together for you guys, but I don't want to keep you guys on while I do that. Um, they have storage solutions. They ship from Australia pretty quickly. Uh, U.S. Customs is a little slow. Nothing we can do about that. Um, but this is a wonderful company. If you are looking for craft supplies, especially foiling supplies, foil art, they have sentiments, they have visuals, they have all of this wonder and they have black toner sheets too if you want to do traditional black as well but they are a pioneer in the foiling um in coming up with new ideas for foiling for toner foiling and toner foiling is using your mink or your laminator machine i do recommend a mink if you can afford a mink or find a mink over a laminator but they do work with a, a laminator it just takes a little extra work in figuring out how your laminator works each laminator is a little bit different but i had a lot of fun hanging out with you guys and making all this fun stuff i hope you learned something i know this was a rather long video if you ever go back and you watch a replay and you want to say okay this is way too long or, or this isn't going along fast enough for me like when i let the dog out you can tap the right side of the screen twice and it will fast forward for you you can tap the left side of the screen twice and it'll rewind 10 seconds for you um, and that'll help you scroll through down at the bottom there's a scroll bar here you can grab that and slide it along and it'll fast forward for you and as long as you learn at the end of the day something new that you can do if you were entertained please click that thumbs up like button for me and I am 30 odd people away from 24,000 subscribers and if you're new to my channel or you've been watching me for a while welcome we have a wonderful crafting community um, thanks to my girls for moderating I have Tracy Chow T and Stacy they each have their own YouTube channels I'll link those down at the bottom for you and please subscribe we do a lot of giveaways we do a lot of fun things and we have a discount code to crafty Critta. the discount code is FSC stands for foiling snobs club zero five you get a five percent discount it does 
transfer into US dollars. So it is a little cheaper for you when it moves from Australian dollars, converts from Australian dollars to US dollars. And there we go. And I will be doing a 24,000 subscriber giveaway. And I, I wonder why they sent me so many toner sheets. I mean, it's like I'm going to give some away or something. What? So we need to hit 24,000 so Nancy can do some giveaways for you guys. If you don't have Crafty Krita foil, yes, these will work with your toner foils if you have deco foils. But we do recommend Crafty Krita foils because they are gorgeous. So while you're there shopping, pick up some foils too. You will not be disappointed. Cynthia is going to sacrifice a cheeseburger in my honor. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. It was a lot of fun. Keep an eye out this weekend. I'm sure I'll be back with some more stuff to do. And if you have any questions, if you're getting this on the playback, you missed the live, comment down below. I do read all of my comments and um, questions and all that good stuff. All right. All right, bye guys. See you later.